in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are moving on, we are moving on, we are moving on, we are reading from the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 22, Matthew chapter 24, verse 22, Bible says, and unless those days were shortened, no flesh will be saved, but for the sake of the elect, or for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. We are praying that God, may you shorten the days of this COVID-19. May you shorten the days of this COVID-19. May you shorten the days of this COVID-19. In the nations, may you shorten the days of this COVID-19. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's 
We are taking our last prayer points and we are praying, we are taking the scripture from the book of Isaiah chapter 60, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 and 2, Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and dark and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. We are praying that the glory of the Lord will be risen upon us and, and upon the nation. After this, 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 this COVID-20 Programmer, that the Lord, the glory of the Lord uh, will be risen upon us. Uh, the, the glory of the Lord uh, will be risen on us. Uh, let's pray. Mother, shut up. You can get it. Let's cut the body and get it. Shut up. Let's pray. 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 let In the name of Jesus, 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 wherever you are, I want you to know that it's only the Jesus that can save you. It's only the Jesus that can save you, wherever you are. If you don't have the blood of Jesus, if you don't have Jesus, kindly give yourself to Jesus. That can save you. Bible says, he says, put the blood on, on your doorpost. And when I'm passing, when I see the blood, ah, I'm going to deliver the people. Ah, I'm going to. It's only the blood of Jesus. And Bible says, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came and he was sacrificed for our sake. That now we that believe in him will not perish. We will not perish. He will deliver us. He will deliver us from the wicked one. The saying that today, 23rd of May, if you don't have the blood, if you don't have Jesus, if you don't have Jesus, 
seek for Jesus. He's the only one that can deliver us from this pandemic. He's the only one that can deliver us from this COVID-19. And today, we are, we are setting this day as a, as, a, as a day that the Lord is delivering his nation. The Lord is delivering his nation from this COVID-19. Wherever you are, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord cover you with his blood. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless Amen. you all. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. If you have been blessed by what you've seen... We'll today, come once again and... We would like to move to the next team, which is the team from Japan. Hallelujah. And we like our own pastor, Pastor Osoya, and then to take over. Amen. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are about to thank God for how far he has brought us. Yes, Lord. In this year of difficulties and trials. Jesus. When you read the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, the Bible says that in every circumstances, yes, Lord. We should give thanks Jesus. to the Almighty God. Yes. Yes. Even in the midst of this COVID-19, yes, it is sure. the Lord who has kept us alive. Jesus. So let's begin to open our mouth and thank God for how much we have Blessed Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
Out of the mouth of babies and infants, Jesus, Jesus. that He has ordained strength. Yes, Lord. By this strength, we are praying, Jesus, that any power. Of COVID 19. Jesus. We are binding them. Yes, Lord. Now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Any power. Yes, Lord. Any yes. spirit of COVID 19. Jesus. Let it be bound by fire by In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's <laughs> 
in the name of Jesus. When you read Psalm 23 verse 4, Jesus, the Bible says that even though Slow. if I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, My God. I will fear no evil. Jesus. It seems this pandemic has brought some kind of fear mm. upon the whole world. Yes, Lord. Wherever you are, listening to the news. Yes, Lord. From the internet. It seems that the world has become so fearful. Mm. A lot of people are afraid even to talk to their fellow people. Jesus. We are praying. Yes, Lord. We are praying. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Any fear, yes, Lord, that this COVID nineteen has Jesus. brought to the world, in the name of Jesus, we are praying that God, yes, Lord, we are praying that God, yes, Lord, let this pandemic, yes, Lord, let this pandemic, yes, Lord, let this pandemic, in the name of Jesus, over, yes, Lord, be over, in the name of Jesus, 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 we are begin to pray. We speak against the fear of God. We speak against the fear of fear gripping people, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus.
in the spirit of fear, in the spirit of if my people Jesus. who are called by my name, yes, Lord. if they will humble themselves and the pray Jesus. and seek their face and turn from their wicked ways, yes, then will I hear from heaven Michael. and will forgive their sins Jesus. and I will heal their land. Yes, Lord. The land here, yes, the Bible was talking about the economy of the people. Jesus. We are praying about the economy of the nations. Yes, Jesus. Because of this COVID-19, the economies of the nations have been so distracted mm. and have been so spoiled that even the leaders of the world don't know what to do. We are praying Jesus. that God restore the economies in of the name of Jesus. Jesus. As you are praying, God, restore the economies in the of the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Coran dali shon dele mele 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 se ra ga da ba in this time of COVID, many people are in desperation, they are in distress, mm -hmm. but there is only one person. In him there is life, the Bible says. In him. Wherever that you are watching us from, mm. maybe you are in despair, mm. maybe you are discouraged, maybe you don't know what to do, but we want to recommend somebody to you. Yes. And his name is Jesus Christ. Yes. And if you are listening to us and you have never accepted this man that we are talking about, his name is Jesus. Wherever you are, if you are a sinner, just acknowledge the Lord, I am a sinner. And today, as I hear your voice, I hear your voice. I submit myself to you. I receive you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Yeah. Wherever you are, wherever you are, it is in Jesus that there is life. There is nobody else that can save you apart from Jesus. So tonight, you are hearing from us from Japan. We want to recommend to you, take the Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And your life shall never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God richly bless you all. Amen. Amen. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. 
Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you.
Jesus. At this moment, we are speaking a victory over everybody who's watching us. Lord, we are speaking victory over depression. We are speaking victory over addiction. We are speaking victory over every sin.
us who are watching us right now online. Lord, wherever they are right now, you touch them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You touch them, O God. If they are sick, touch them with your divine healing right now. Okay. Okay. Hi. We are back again from Far East Asia Block. And this is our last session for COVID 2020. I believe that you've been blessed throughout the session for Far East Asia. In our last session, we have our very own Apostle, Apostle James Rad as the Indian National Head to take us through a short ministration. Apostle, please, you can take over. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet to you from the Church of Pentecost, India headquarters. I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, Pensa International, into the into world, the world we, we go. go. Youths are like an arrow in the hands of a mighty man, says the psalmist in Psalm 127. You are are full of potential, mind you, where you direct that potential before it is too late. Our God is a God who purposefully planted you wherever you are right now. He has a clear plan and a purpose for your life. You are not a mystic or not an afterthought by God. There is a seed that is planted inside of you. That seed needs the right atmosphere to grow. The world is a distraction. There are many who can walk you astray. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of democracy. If you focus on God and place yourself under the authority of God and acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior, I emphasize not just acknowledge him as your Savior, but as Lord and Savior, a complete surrender is required of you. Jesus says in John 12, 24, Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. This means that yourself or will has to die if it has to give fruit. You need to be buried in the word of God and take root in his word. The Holy Spirit will then water you and you will germinate. If your delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law, if you meditate day and night, you will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever you will do will prosper. You have, I have, read about bamboo. When the seed falls into the ground, it does not germinate in just days or weeks or in months, but it takes at least five years to see it sprout. That does not mean that it was not growing all those years. It was growing deep down. The roots were growing deeper and deeper. Once the sprouts out of the ground, it will grow in just few months to reach heights never reached by ordinary shrubs, bushes, or tr and trees. Grow in the word. Perhaps you may need, you may not see anything happening right away, but remember, you are being prepared to reach your full potential by God. Don't be anxious. Patiently wait for his time. He will never be late. He will lift you up in due time and season. You will start giving fruit in its season. If you read Paul's letter to the Colossians, in Colossians 1, 9 to 14, if you focus on verses 10 to 12, it goes like this, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work 
and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, and to all patience and long-suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. These verses speak about the life that pleases God. So I would like you to consider from the context of a young Pentecost man or woman's life that pleases God. If you ask yourself how that can be achieved, you perhaps know the textbook answers such as organize more Bible studies, go out to give tracts, pray for one another and so on. Perhaps we should consider the marks of a God pleasing person. Firstly, a God-pleasing person bears fruit. How do you know the person is doing a good job? The leaders can define the standard, but remember to measure it according to God's parameter. Do not chase quantity, rather choose quality. How are you encouraging one another to live a holy, sanctified life and challenging one another to serve him in the church? Are you lives changed from the weekly meetings? The Bible says in John 15, 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. To truly bear fruit as a pencil member, you need to draw the nutrients from the correct source. Let God be that source. Secondly, a God-pleasing person yearns to know God better. Growing in the knowledge of God is not the same as growing in knowledge about God. How you ever wonder why some of your Bible study becomes a drag after a while? This is because we can spend all of our time mastering information about God and yet not have a relationship with God. Unless you wholeheartedly seek God. No amount of intellectual knowledge can satisfy you. It is good to encourage one another to start from simple faith and cultivate a love for God and his people. When this is taken care of, the quest for more knowledge will come naturally instead of grudgingly. Thirdly, a God-pleasing person endures all things. This is especially for leaders. Throughout the year, you could have felt discouraged when you organize a meeting and so few turn up, you could have had differences in opinions that frustrated you. You may think that after all, Pensa is like an additional syllabus that takes up your time and studies and the things you enjoy. So why bother? You give up in despair. But who is talking here? God or Satan? God teaches us to be patient through all this. This message is always hanging there. I'm not finished with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. Therefore, in hard times, learn to take a step back and trust God to reveal what lessons he has for you. Seek encouragement from one another and talk to your seniors who have been in your shoes before. Last but not least, a God-pleasing person thanks, for, thanks God for everything. We do not deserve the inheritance that God has reserved for us. Likewise, we cannot take for granted the daily blessings from the Lord. The fact that you still stand today is only by the grace of God. Leaders should not get puffed up. And members grow complacent in successes, in failures and trials. Also thank him. This event is an example of thanksgiving. But... Let that not be the only time you thank God. It is not easy to sustain the group and it is even more difficult with the many things that you, our young people, are with. We are told to be in the world, but not of the world. We are not to love the things of the world. So difficult nowadays, isn't it? So may I encourage you, youths, to do collectively. As the saying goes, there is strength in numbers. Continually challenge yourself to bond. Grow and serve together. Do not leave anyone behind and invite others to join you so they can also experience the grace and blessings of God. May God bless you. 
go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you, Apostle. God bless you, Apostle. And this has been the Far East Asia Block Session for Jesus as your personal savior, you want to take this opportunity and then do so. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And you want to speak and then say this word after me. Jesus Christ. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. If you have been blessed by what you've seen today, we would humbly ask for you to with us by going to pensainternational.org forward slash give to make a financial contribution to this ministry. The International Ministry of Pentecost Students and Associates, Pensa International, exists to complement the Church of Pentecost's global evangelic vision. By the grace of God, the church has propagated the undiluted message of the gospel in over a hundred countries across the world. We seek to marshal the passion and energy of young people across the world to win souls for Christ and join us in a worthy cause. To make a secure online digital donation, please visit pensainternational.org forward slash give and fill out the information listed. May God richly bless you.
Please, I hope you can hear me. Praise the Lord. We give glory to God for this wonderful day. 
And we thank all of you across the world for tuning into this wonderful program. Pensa International, into the world we go. Into the and world we go. Charge for the powerful word that he gave unto us, that we need to die to self for us to possess the nation. This is our mandate. I want you to join me as we lift up a prayer unto God in possessing the nations. Praise the Lord. Uh, if you can't sing with me, with, sing this song with me. Doing the work of the Lord, publishing His mighty name. Doing the work of the Lord, telling of His love to all. Into the world, oh God, He has healed us. The Lord, our God, has healed us. Bless His name for this healing. Bless His name for this healing. Wherever you find yourself, wherever you stand up, let the heavens hear your voice. In the name of Jesus, the name In Jesus' name, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. We thank you, oh God. I have come to you. Oh Lord, I've come just as I am. I've opened up to you for a touch of you. Hallelujah, I have come, I have come to you. Dear Lord, God, I've come just as I am. I've opened up to you. Oh, for a touch, for a touch of you. I open up, I open up, I open up to you. Yeah, for a touch, for a touch of you. Oh, I have come, I have come, my God, to you. Jehovah, Lord, I've come, rich and elevated as we have. Ah, we won't be now oh, to you. Oh, for a touch, for a touch of you. At this point, we are going to pray and lift up the nations before God that those who do not know Christ Jesus will come to know him. We are lifting up the name of Jesus. Bible says when we lift this name high, when Christ is lifted up, he will draw man unto himself. Wherever you are, lift the name of Jesus high. Pray for dying souls, those who are dying in their sins, those who are dying in their iniquity. We are praying that as the Lord our God uses this medium or to minister unto them, we pray in the name of Jesus that souls will be won, souls will give their life unto Jesus. Anyone who is dead in sin will receive life. Anyone who is dead in sin will receive life. The word of God that has been preached, that will be preached, will bring about a change in their life. Why don't you pray for a dying soul? Why don't you pray for one who is dying in their sins? You may know somebody in your country. You may know someone in your neighborhood. Oh, who is in need of the gospel message? Today, lift up your voice uh, and pray for such an individual. We are praying, oh God, uh, that Lord, your word, your word, that is life, your word, that creates your word, that brings the dead back to life. We pray in Jesus' name, your word, oh God, will affect many. Your word, oh God, will affect many in this day, oh God, this 23rd day of fame. Oh Lord, will experience, oh God, a mighty breakthrough. But God, many will give their life unto you. Many will give their life unto you. Many will surrender unto you. They will let go of the sins. They will let go of iniquity. They will turn to righteousness. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. This is our cry, oh God. Let the nations hear you. We are lifting up your, our, our, our voices, oh God. Lifting the name of Jesus from Australia to North America. We are praying, oh God, that the world will see Jesus. The world will see Jesus. The one who died for humanity. Oh, that we hear the gospel message and turn from their sins. And turn from their sins in the name of Jesus. Oh, may souls be one, oh God. Let souls be one, oh God. Today, oh God, manifest yourself by turning lives around. Manifest yourself by turning lives around that disease of sin that is in our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. You will heal this disease, this inherent disease in our lives that stop us, oh God, from seeing your glory. Father, this disease of sin will be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Keep our roots up behind the back here and we are lifting up our voice, covering the whole world with the blood of Jesus. We want to declare this day and that the Lord our God will put an end to this pandemic. Wherever you are, in whatever country you're in, you know the numbers. You've seen the death rate. You've seen the recoveries. You've seen the number of infections across the globe. You've seen it. We're lifting up our voice and crying to the I am that I am. The one who said, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, lift up your voice. Uh, cover the world with the blood of Jesus. Cover your country with the blood of Jesus. Cover your nation with the blood of Jesus. Cover your seat with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we lift up our voices, oh God. Coming against COVID-19. Coming against COVID-19. This deadly pandemic uh, that has put the world into fear. We pray in the name of Jesus. Your mighty hand, oh God. Your mighty hand, oh God, will bring about healing. Your mighty hand of God will bring about healing. You said in your word, when you see the blood, when you see the blood, we are marking our nations with the blood of Jesus. We are marking the world with the blood of Jesus. We are covering the blood. We are covering the world with your blood of God. The blood, the blood, the blood. It is in the blood that will have our redemption. It is in the blood that will have our healing. It is in the blood that will have our freedom. So we pray in Jesus' name of God. Anyone in fact with this disease, we receive their healing. We are praying in Jesus never that this disease will die down. This disease will put an end to it. It will not come again. Your word says this affliction will not come for a second time. So we pray in your name. We put an end to it by the power of Jesus. By the power of Jesus. By the power of Jesus. We cover the land with the blood. The blood of Jesus. That does what I said. And the blood of Abel. The blood that still speaks. We pray that, Lord, your blood will cover the nations. Your blood will cover the nations. We pronounce healing. We pronounce restoration. We declare this day. We declare this day. There is healing in the blood. There is healing in the blood. And that blood is bringing healing to many. The blood is bringing healing to the world. It's bringing healing all to every nation. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name of God, in Jesus' name of God, for now, before now, wherever you are, declare healing. Wherever you are, declare healing. In this day, we are declaring healing. We are declaring healing over the land, over the world. In Jesus' name, Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, you are called by the name of God, lift up your voice wherever you are, my brother. Lift up your voice wherever you are, my sister, and cry unto God. God has given you the authority. Make a declaration that the Lord your God will pronounce healing. Bring healing in Jesus' name. Rika Bosa, Rika Bosa, Marian de la Bosia, and the Makeup, Marian de la Bosia, Riprihan de Mo, Riprihan de Mo, Sukabe, and the Mount of Bosia, Reman de la Bosia, Reman de la Bosia, Riprihan de la Bosa, Marian de la Boki de la Bosia, in the name of Jesus, we declare breakthrough, we declare freedom, or in Australia, in the in, in Europe, in the Americas, in Africa, in Asia, we are declaring that Lord our God, the land will be healed. 
healed. The land will be restored. The land will be restored. Will be prepared, oh God, uh, of this disease. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You said, oh God, you will cause the east wind, uh, the west wind to blow over the land. Uh, oh, in Jesus' name, glaring, oh God, the land of every locust. So we are praying this day. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost uh, blow over the nations. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, do a new thing, O God, in our generation, do a new thing, O God, in our time, as your people who are called by your name are lifting up their voices in unity, in one accord, in every nation this day. Oh, unto your name, Jehovah, answer, Jehovah, answer, Holy Ghost, answer, in Jesus' name, we are calling upon you. We know you are prayer answering God. That when, oh God, we cry on you, we have this confidence that you hear us. And because you hear us, we know that which we have prayed for, we have received. So we know healing has taken place. We know healing has taken place in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 manifest yourself for God, manifest yourself for God, in the land of God, in the nations of God, manifest yourself, manifest yourself, manifest yourself, in Jesus' name, Father, manifest yourself, Holy Ghost, manifest yourself, Rekabosa, Rekabosa, if you had the Mesa, if you had the Mo, Kabora, by the Masu, if you had the Mosa, Kadarabasianta, the Andaramosa, Kaberia the Mo, Kaberia the Mo, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, if you had Masu Kabo and the Mam, we are covered by the blood, we are covered by the blood, we are covered by the blood, in Jesus' name, we are covered by the blood, in Jesus' name, we are covered by the blood, in Jesus' name. We are covered by the blood. We are there, we are there, we are there. We are there, we are there. We are there, we are there. We are there, we are Lord. We cover, oh Lord. We cover, oh Lord. We are covered, oh Lord. We are there, we are there. 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 We are there, we are in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, somebody lift up your voice uh, and cry unto God. It's a time of traveling, a time of standing in the gap. We are standing in the gap. Babu says, uh, He fought for a man to stand in the gap, and you are that man, you are that person. We are standing in the gap for the nations, uh, pronouncing healing, declaring healing in Jesus' name. Uh, why don't you cry unto your God? He's a prayer answering God. Declare healing, declare healing, declare. Declare healing, declare healing, declare healing, reverse, recover. Rikabo, Rikabo, Bandarabosiante, Bandarabosiante, Tandarabaki, 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 Beloved, at this moment, I want to pray for our leaders. I want to pray for our president, our prime ministers. I want to pray for our parliamentarians. Bible says, men got to pray at all times and we got to pray for our leaders. We got to pray for our kings. But this is what is the will of God. We need to stand in prayer. 
we are calling upon God that as these men who have been placed in leadership in our country, in our, in our nation, take decisions. It will be godly decisions. It will not be decisions that is based on selfish ambitions, but decisions that will benefit humanity and society. Why don't you begin to pray for every leader, every leader, every leader, every prime minister, every government, every president, you may not like That's what he says to us. The Lord of the flesh is the Everybody be whole, say it, confess it. The Holy Ghost Himself uh, will direct them, oh God, in their decisions. Uh, when they speak, oh God, to deliberate, oh God, may you direct the affairs. May you direct the affairs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. President of God uh, in the nations uh, across the world, uh, we bring them before you. It is our prayer, oh God, that Lord, you will be with them. God, you will be with them. In hard times, in difficult times, we pray that Lord, you equip them uh, in their decision making. You sustain them. Those who are weary will be strengthened. Uh, those who are weak will be oh God, will be strengthened. Uh, many don't know what to do, but Lord, you know what you are about. So I pray, I pray that Lord, you will lift them. I pray that Lord, you will lift them in Jesus' name, oh Lord. We come on, Saba, and At this moment, we want to pray. For God to be with his people. For God to be with his church. C.O.P. across the nation. The body of Christ. We want to pray that God himself will keep them, will sustain them. God himself will watch over them. Just as it was said in the book of Exodus. That when I see the blood, I will pass over you. We want to pray that God will protect his people. God will protect his children. God will protect his children. God will protect every individual in every in, in every nation. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Wherever you are, lift up your voice. We are praying that God, God will protect his people. God will sustain his people. Many have lost their jobs. Many are in despair. Oh, but our God, he is able. He is able. Say, oh, pray on, pray with me this day. Pray with me this day. They come and the mercy and the man. He pray the mercy and day. The power of Baba. He send the mercy and the man. Bless you, pray and day. Bless you, pray and day. He make you and the mercy and the man. Send the mercy and the man. He pray the mercy and day. The power of the mercy and the man. He and the mercy and the man. He come on the power of the mercy and day. He make you and the mercy and day. He pray the mercy and the man. He don't know the mercy. Protect your people, oh God. Protect your children as you did in the days of old. For the children of Israel, may not perish, O oh God. 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 In the name of Jesus, none will perish uh, by your blood. None will perish. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord. Be kabot Why don't you thank God with me and worship his name for what he has done as we sing this song. Great is our Lord God and really to be praised, His mercy is all All His ways shall be. Oh, great is our Lord God and great. Oh, his wife 
Chape. Oh, wonderful are his words. All his words shall bring me deep his mercies. Oh, all his words shall bring Oh, lift up your voice and appreciate God, somebody. Lift up your voice and appreciate God. He's a wonderful God. Great is his words. Great things he has done. Lift up your voice. Bless his name. Adore his name for the healing, for the healing, for the protection for the sustenance, for the provisions oh, into your life. Bless his name for the healing of the nations. Bless his name for the godly direction he's giving to our leaders. Bless his name for the covering of his blood. Bless his name for the covering of his blood. Bless his name for the covering of his blood. Bless his name in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we honor you. We adore you. We glorify your name. You are the ancient of days. You are the El Shaddai. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, we give you praise. Oh, Elohim, we bow before you and worship your holy name. We join the heavenly host, singing unto your name that you are holy. You are holy. You are holy. For you have done awesome things in our life. You have done great things in our life. Wonderful are your works. Indeed, that is why we are gathered here. Praise in your holy name. That is why we are here. Lift in your eyes for every work of yours to praise you. Every work of yours to praise you. We thank you, our God. We honor you for what you have done. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Amen. Pensa International, into the world we go. God, which you bless you for tuning in. Please don't dial off. Stay tuned. We have more for you. Amen. I acknowledge that you are the son of God. You came to die for my sins. Your hands to the heavens. Begin to talk to me. Behold, uh, I am the Lord. I'm the God of of flesh is there anything is there anything to hide to hide for behold I am saying behold thank you Lord I am the what he says to us. The Lord of the flesh. Oh, is there too high? Oh, everybody, be whole. Say it, confess it.
Fala Vasidi Istomo Regelesta Saya. Velo Koro Valasi Talebrombos Kibonda Lies de Nemesaya Kafara. Limondo Koro Bohos de Lebron de Lies de Nesh. Thank you, Spirit of Life. Kidom Stali Varokones, Talish Karahada, as the Lebrombo Costes. Thank you, Spirit of Life. He is the Lord. Is there anything too hard for him? He is the Lord. He has said it, and surely he will do. Hold on to your faith, my sister. And your confession of days of your life and you will see the hand of the Lord anybody who agrees with me declare it say he is my God is there anything he's never too late always always Ikura bandili rios telebe. Makala brombes telebe le siga dish kios. Kidobu yambaba. Ibarandos telebrendish. Kadus talaba hafekeles. Kikori yamba lis telemoses. Luka la vidistos. In the name of Jesus. 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 Ne keles, bundi kavusa, ye ko lavura, kandili bose. Kifuri abalaban satala brombo sigidi en sele shoke. Madi vele baradi estele kandas divos. Ne ke bari antalaba hasta kabura badi estele bebadish. Neke la barra pataya hasta le bon de ques. Bo shalava hagaviri e telemos. In the name of Jesus. In the name. And praise the Lord, every one of you. Thank God that the power of life is made manifest and the strength of grace is felt everywhere across the globe and around the world. We want to thank God for what is happening around the globe and the force of life that is breaking loose into every cranny and every space on the globe. And I sense that our feet are already erupting with a certain measure of power. I give God the glory and all of you who are watching and praying along with us across the globe, I like to let you understand that God is sweeping across the globe and the power of life and grace is filled. I want you to open your mouth one more time and give me the glory that he's gaining glory for himself. Even in this, under the current circumstances, glory is garnered unto God. Power bounces back onto God. Oh, hallelujah. Give him praise. Lift up your name. Lift up his name. 
your voice, open your mouth, and thank God and give him praise. That in all of these things, we are more than conquerors. Bali, Verhose, Keblandi, Ikatai, Le Shoka, Vazui, Ipelomonte, Brangavi, Izalaya, Sotelebehe, Makaya, Bahavele, Broste, Fili, Tagahaya. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Librosia, Bangurieste, Ali Ostatai. Vittoria Gabahasala, Bungi is Telebe Andus, Weke Barafalush on Telebe Hazia. Come on, give him praise. 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 Extol his name above every name that is named in the heavenlies. Extol his name that is named in the heavenlies. Grant unto him all the glory and all the honor our God reigns. I like you to open your mouth and let the Lord be a God. La foke jala lo repote mazia. Ivero shandalia casta la bro bianta mahai. Le costa ya virio ke shalaba viso la bondeme. I kaluanta baru velehestaya. We toli baro kasia baha vele kashada. I totari ambalust. Manori embe ke se livrandush. I koli vezo ya barusta la baha vima convaya. Let us extol his name above the nations and above the COVID-19 scourge. Extol his name above those who are made morbid. Extol his name above those who have died. Grant him and give him the glory above all the powers of COVID-19 and its destructive agency. Let the strength of God and let his name be lifted above every name that is named. Come and pray. Come and pray. Polea, Zis, Nekoya, Maziah, Kirionte, Leshogabaha. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Riando Bosa, Kitaya Daliestes, Radibacoma Das, Levarondi Estes, Kadia Talabahasoma. Kibara bados, iblandi koma havia, la tota taro bazi akaya balush kabron debehe. Come on, give him praise. Lift up his name. 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 Megos, ibarus, triendish, karabahai, le costa, bandi apa, negadish, kabaruan peli zelesh, yakora bahavasi, and de belere badush, we kabalis. Wetali Hadai, Brondi is Tolabahagavis, Le Shagaharosta, Lebron Debo, above all powers, above all powers, above all powers, above all powers, above all thrones, above all dominion, above every name that is named. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. I see the wings of glory, I see the forces of glory. They are unleashed upon the globe. Come on, open your mouth. Thank God. For a moment, forget about what is happening. Thank God. For a moment, forget about your anxieties. Thank God. For a moment, and, uh, avoid and, and forget about your fears. Thank God. For a moment, completely forget about what is happening around you, the fears, the challenges, the difficulties, and thank God. Lioste, Bondiasa, Magadobe, Iambiesa, Kadaya, Otelebe Hagavia, Asiliete Terua Komazaya, Willu Shako, Robodos, Abliente, Ikarabahabo, Sabliantaya. I like you and I to pray right now and sing the song alone. Come on, sing the song with me. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. Wisdom. Thanksgiving, amen, power and mind, power and mind, belong to our God forever and ever, amen. Power and my power and my oh belong to our God 
Oh, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, oh, and honor, power and might, power and might, oh, belong to our God. Forever and ever, amen. We wrestle, we wrestle in the power from COVID-19. Power and might belong unto our God. Power and might belong unto our God. I'd like you to just repeat that refrain after me. Power and might belong unto our God. Power and might. Belong, belong to our God. Oh, forever and ever. Amen. One more time, amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving. Wisdom, thanksgiving. And uh, uh, power and mind. Power and mind. Oh, belong to our Forever and ever. Amen. Power and my power and my oh belong to our God forever and ever. Why don't you best out begin to pray in tongues right now? Exercise that dominion and glory that is in God and thank God. Give him the glory. Leko Sabahaya, Vilieta, Medoli, Vandish, Carosa, Banda, Bahayamba, Leko Rapatos, Yandilieza, La Shagaro, Sibon, Beleba, Madisa, Magarobalia, Babea. I papara da los bandili bitotaya magava le brondoski avalish atoli hezea kapa havia conta lushka rose mandi abalusha iberosti akanda baluma rosene le veduya kunda le kotaru andi bistole bronda makaba e valushka rose le bihadaya e kota la barancha da magusta la brandia in the name of the lord jesus christ the son of the living god we give you the glory lord we extol your name we extol your name we extol your name over and above the waters over covid 19 over the nations, over every power, over every might, over every dominion, over every name that is named, over every throne, over every government, give him the glory, extol his name, give him the glory, extol his name, give him the glory. Dikayokova, give him the glory. Biando Hosema, give him the glory. Magadosha, Ibarahasea. Tataya Gadia, Lebosti Frandi Kabia, Ilepostolo Hoseke, Badina Ave Kua Ikatena, Lehosta Labaha Fiko Madini, Ikonda Lia Ste Lebro Bianta Makobe, Ibabaya Hakusiana Lima Tona, Randi Katoye Behesela Kadi Bataya, Windy We Hakoya Masaya, Iberon Talian Zuzaya Kohamim Kai Bionte, Landu Barofeso Lebron Kabi Antoli, 
glory in the Hosea Gabahai. Give him the glory. Lift up his name above the heavens. 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 Likoya Raduya Bahatome. Lesto Roko Basaya. Birianta Gahai. Now listen carefully to me. COVID-19 comes with liabilities and opportunities. And I'd like us to strategically and prophetically with apostolic order and commitment and force in prayer to begin to harness the opportunities, harness the good things that should come with COVID-19. Remember the theme of our church, our 2023 vision possessing the nation agenda. Speaking a prayer, right? I'd like to read for you, for example, a scripture in Psalm 24, one of my most favorite scriptures. One of my most favorite scriptures, Psalm 24. Psalm 24. I'm reading from the verse number seven. One of my most favorite scriptures, Psalm 24, and the verse number seven. I am trusting the Lord as we launch into this next phase of the prayer. We are nexting the gates of opportunities, the gates in the nations, the gates in the nations, every nation, every nation, every home, every community. We are annexing the gate. We are speaking a word over the gates to the nations. The Bible says in the verse number seven, lift up your head, you gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors. Prior to COVID-19, some doors have become ancient. Some doors have been shut. Some doors have been difficult to open. But I see in the realms of the spirit, as I pray with you, I see in the realms of the spirit that God is granting unto us Ancient doors, Lua Sekebenditaya, Wendy Akaha, ancient doors. I like you right now to begin to speak to ancient doors, financial breakthroughs for the church in the nations. These are ancient doors that are places where we can't even have spaces for church. These are ancient doors. Listen carefully. There are people who don't trust in God, secular humanism has taken a grip over people. These are ancient doors. But right now in the name of Jesus and the solid name that is above every other name, may the Lord grant unto us the power that breaks down ancient doors. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. I want to just engage this scripture in the next couple of minutes. Open your mouth. Tell the Lord, I want Asian doors grabbed. I want Asian doors gripped. I want Asian doors opened. I want Asian doors offended. I want Asian doors broken through in the name of Jesus. Kanabahai, Lenko, Rianta, Bondi, Asaya, Ikelusha, Barosa, Leverote, Teteanta, Yakobahaya. Madabalu sope, ikaya doya, libron di mosto, baruska, balandi itama, bekoriondish, lista raduya, iverose kebahaya, makandi lienta, ancient doors. Come on, open your mouth and next the doors. Take control of 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 the doors. Ancient doors. Liosta. Open up, we command all the financial doors to nations which are close to the gospel. Let them open up by the power of life. Kidonda, Beso, Palusa, Ikatoma, Limbish, we call you Celebeda. Let Asian doors open up. 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 The Asian doors of hand and heartedness, the Asian doors of secular humanism. The Asian doors of atheism, the Asian doors of unbelief, let them be heavily offended by the power of the prayer. In the name of Jesus, we speak to Asia. We command it to respond to the power of the word. We speak to the Australians. We command them to respond to the power of the word. We speak to the Americas in the solid name of Jesus the son of the living God, as the epicenter of this virus 
is creeping gradually to Latin America. We speak against every door of false religion. Let them be broken in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Come and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Contending prayer in the name of Jesus. We speak over the forces of the nation. We speak over the forces of the nations. Let the barriers, let the ancient doors, let them be actively opposed. Let them be actively broken down. Lord, break down human barriers. Break down political barriers that have become a barrier to the spread of the gospel. I hear the voice of the Lord. He said, pray because you are just in the midst and you are at the verge of hitting the good harvest. My goodness, somebody open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. Contend right now with the forces of evil. Contend. Let ancient doors, let them be flung open. Nakoya, brother, fire, bronze. Iyekoda, bahalisa, yabanda. Mento, lionde, lelekaya. Igarunda, bosele, batoba, ruska, balavaya, katoba. Iende, lebekenish. Nikoi, bihas. Livindusa. Iverusheke. Masuya, pakai, ibendush. We entele, harataya, I see flames are rising up. Le conta, come and push it. Le bronda, but flames are converging. Come and push it. Don't stop it. Flames are converging. Come and push it. Don't stop it. Flames are gathering. Come and push it. Don't stop it. In the name of Jesus. We ente, lendush, yonka, bahazia, le pronta, la mahakasa. We de doro tobo, hosele, ibara fo le poriatana, le gadidi asaya kataya, yamba. Babo Boroko, Selu Adimi, Ikadi Baye Mestoli Haduna, Ataya Gadi Hesele, Winta Bahafi Kabene Hekemina, Ita Taru Soko Belipadeni, Yanda Bokasaya, let the doors open, Lord, let the doors open, Lord, let the doors open, Lord, ancient doors, stubborn barriers, irresistible barriers, unbreakable barriers. My goodness, in the name of Jesus, we put the sources of prayer together. We generate supernatural power. We command the incense of the saints to be gathered together to prayer. Right now, against these barriers, let the ancient doors, let them begin to quake. Let them begin to shudder. Let them begin to tremble. We command supernatural divine trembling in the realms of the spirit over the nations. My goodness, I see we are breaking the doors and breaking into Asian barriers and offending these Asian barriers and declaring that they are broken in the name of Jesus. Come on, one more time. One more time. Increase the passion. Increase the flame. Increase the passion. Let it go. Come on, let it go. Come on, let it go. Come on, let it go. Perush, Negeri, Astaya, Koda, Halama, Yevendus, Toy, Hey! We cry. I had the understand. I sense an anointing here right now. Come on, push. Legron, this tire, Bahagalus, Taya Babombo, Makoya, Badia. Come on, push. In the name of Jesus. Come on, push. In the name of Jesus. Come on, push. Nigondi, Asteli, Brosha, Banda, Hayanda, Lekronde, Briande. I am the coma, Vigaya, Nastua, Feli, I am to a deme, Keteba, Agadi, Ataya, Bonda, Lasaya, We can be Briante, Alicia, Gahaya, Westiliembro, Kebebia. God is giving us the nations, Nagai, Igaya, Bahagai, Lebrondi, Akaga, Laboko, Averuete, Lebihaka, Lataga, Nasaya, Ipagada, Bagara, Madagado, Levro, Costo, Magu, Yavahai, Lebron de Mekos Telebriande, Yanda Babaru Atai, Keberu Atelebehesto Balua Nakaya. Open your mouth. Come and push. Come and push. Come and push. Lidostes, Ibatota, Ibatota, Lakataya, Vedustaya, Rokebishaya, Lebron Sto, Labibikaya, Vedobonsta, Lekendish, Rapatosa, Ikadai, Lekesteya. Radadusa, Pombe, Kebelihisa, Leshogabia, Rastula Voze, Iveron Telimazuya, Markabahai, let the dog be broken, 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 
Let the door be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the door be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the door be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the door be broken in the name of Jesus. Madoy, Hebron, Yese, Ipala, Kodebete. Now listen carefully. Listen carefully to this. I sense that God is using COVID-19 and to take power from the center to the peripheries. What that means is that couple of months ahead, the anointing of God after COVID-19, the post-COVID-19 era is a moment of divine flow and power. And I like you right now, wherever you are, I like you to place your hand upon your chest and your head. Tap strength from him. He is your provider. He loves you more than you can ever imagine. He loves you more than you love yourself. God knows your needs. And the lifting of your hands tells him that, Father, I'm your daughter, I'm your son, and I belong to you. Would you touch me and change me? Lift your hands to the heavens. Begin to touch me. Behold. Ah. I am the Lord, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything, is there anything to hide, to hide for? divine downloaded platform receive that right now in the name of Jesus receive the power to become a minister after post COVID and even within the COVID I decree anointing upon you right now come and take it one two three receive it now in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I decree the anointing of grace and power upon you open your mouth one open your mouth for just one minute, come on, right now, and receive that grace right now as God breaks through the barriers. And as the mountains quake and the valleys are lifted, my goodness, when I sense a divine seismological activity, as the mountains are breaking down, so are the valleys being lifted. And you are a valley. God is lifting you in these times. Right now, receive the power. I see and that the power going through your hands. Right now, some of you are already beginning to tremble right now. The power of God is all over you. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. God, help us deploy soldiers. Lord, empower us as we take control of the gate and the ancient doors. Right after the barriers are broken, the men shall be released. The Bible says in Joshua that when the walls fell, men entered. And who are the men? These were the soldiers. And so as the walls are broken down, the men must be deployed. As the walls are broken down, the men must be deployed. Come and receive it. Come and receive it. Open your mouth and begin to speak away. Leconta, Marusha, receive the power in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Leko, Rabadia, Sanda, Itaragode, Velesia, Nagadia, Skaboholo, Vogadi, Ataya, Laka, Rabadush, Kabole, Behosiama, Magodobo, Torianda, Lis, Tayabaha, Ikarababe, Madosa, Bahaya, Lord, give us men. Lord, give us men. Give us women. And for them right now, we need a new breed of church workers. We need a new breed of church workers. We have now understood our limitation as humans. Lord, give us a new breed of workers, a new breed of young men and women, selfless and selfless and selfless and sacrificial in the name of Jesus and empower them from the crown of your heads to the soles of your feet. Let your eyes be empowered. Let your tongues be empowered. Let your ears open, dear Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your heart are enlightened by the revelation of the word. In the name of Jesus, your feet are shown with the gospel of peace. In the name of Jesus.
Ghost. The anointing is coming upon you wherever you are. In Australia, in China, in any place on the earth, in India, in Pakistan, in the US, in the UK, in the place you are watching, receive the flames of fire, receive the flames of power, receive the flames of knowledge, receive the flames of revelation, receive the flames of understanding, receive the flames of sacrifice, the flames of commitment, the flames of passion in the solid name of Jesus be anointed right now. Kedia, Kaba, Lebron, Stoya, Blende. I hear young men and women sounding the trumpet of a new world. I hear young men and women sound the trumpet of a new church. I hear young men and women sound the trumpet of a new way of doing service. My goodness, receive the power in the solid name of Jesus. The Son of the Living God, open your mouth and receive your anointing right now. Korea, Leonsa, Bombi, Akaya, in the room of Leonsa, the Glaze, Abagoborobosa, Lerutataya Gadis, Kabalombi Rion Tebehea. I want to thank God right now. And I want to give him praise for what he's doing amongst you right now. In the next few minutes, I'll be done. But I want you and I right now, place your hand upon your head because I see an anointing coming upon you. An anointing is coming upon you right now. Lord, give us soldiers. Lord, release soldiers. Lord, release soldiers. Release soldiers. Release soldiers. Release men and women. Release soldiers. Kiende. Radia, Cabas, Le Codeme, Dentia, Le Goza, Baranda, Le Bondis, Cayonte, Le Barus, Evrendu Kea, Bazia, Kekola, Bahasa, E Taracobe, Lezidi, Yacaba, Mondier. The barriers are broken. Now we need the men. The barriers are broken. Now we need the men. The barriers are broken. Now we need the men. Where are the men? Receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive it. I see fear living you. I see panic is living you. I see fear is living you. Panic is jettisoned from your system. Panic is clear from your system. Courage is coming back. Confidence is coming back. Power to speak is coming back. Power to speak is coming back. Power to speak is coming back. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Kedosh, Rianta, Bosia, Kadia, Talabahaya, Rekombo, Dos, Leonta, Bahayanda. I give you the glory. I have just less than one minute, but I'd like you to listen to this. As the prayer continues, I'd like you to begin to declare upon yourself this words. Just say this words for me. Dear Father, I thank you for the challenge that is facing the world. Much as it is a challenge that is threatening, I believe that you are walking through this challenge. I present myself as an instrument of power that when you are broken our ancient doors and open the gate with your glory, may you find me worthy as part of this agency. I receive your power and your anointing in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. God bless you and let's keep the prayer for the battle is the Lord's. The barriers are broken. Shalom. One repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you.
Pensa International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. If you have been blessed by what you've seen today, we would humbly ask for you to partner with us by going to pensainternational.org forward slash give to make a financial contribution to this ministry. The International Ministry of Pentecost Students and Associates, Pensa International, exists to complement the Church of Pentecost's global evangelic vision. By the grace of God, the church has propagated the undiluted message of the gospel in over a hundred countries across the world. We seek to marshal the passion and energy of young people across the world to win souls for Christ and join us in a worthy cause. To make a secure online digital donation, please visit pensainternational.org forward slash give and fill out the information listed. May God richly bless you. Hello. Hi, Pensa people, Pensa International, young people around the world, praise the Lord. God bless you. In fact, I thought that you were hiding in, in, in your rooms. I didn't know that in times like this, you, will come, you can come out and, 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 and still have something to do uh, in the vineyard of God. You are brave, and we thank God for your life. We bless God. For, for, for giving us people like you, uh, whom we can count on in terms like this, that you are not people who are afraid and hiding and, 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 and praying, asking God to, 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 to take the, 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 um, the, this thing away because you are afraid. But even if you are praying for God to take this thing away, it is because you love the word of God, you love the people, you love your fellow Christians, you love the people of the world, and you don't want any of them to be affected by this, by this uh, deadly disease. But it's not because you are afraid. When I see you around like this, when I see you uh, calling people together and, and in your rooms and, and planning of what to do uh, to take the gospel to the next level, I, I am amazed. And I want, I'm thanking God for your life. We greet you. And on behalf of the leadership of the Church of Pentecost, we say, God bless you. And uh, we pray that this, is not, this will not be a nine-day wonder. And this will not be the first and last uh, of, of, what, of, of this program. But we will continue to find innovative ways to bring, our, bring ourselves uh, into fellowship and also to reach out to other people. And so stay put as we share this moment together, as we pray together, as we fellowship together, as we worship the Lord together, and above all, as we bring people to the saving knowledge of Christ. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We give glory and honor to the Lord our God for an opportunity like this to meet and to encourage ourselves in these difficult times. We want to say a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, we bless you. We give you all the glory for the gift of life and health. We bless you for all the people around us who encourage us during times like this. And Lord, we pray that you will use us as tools in your hands, O oh God, to possess the nations. We pray for Pensa International. We pray you will find us worthy 
by the blood of Jesus to use us for the glory of your name and to take your names to the ends of the world so that people will come to know Jesus and acknowledge him as their Lord and their Savior. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Christ in you, glory. the hope of glory. Pensa International. Into the world we go. Pensa International. Into the world we go. We are covered over COVID. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I am covered in the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are living in, in, in exciting times, even though, depending on how you look at it, um, you can describe the times as being very challenging and very distressing uh, in the face of a, a deadly, tiny virus nicknamed COVID-19. <laughs> but exciting for those of us who are privileged to be alive today. Oh God, thank you for the gift of life and health. We are privileged to be alive to see history unfold before our very eyes. We've heard about pestilences and pandemics in the past, in history, but we've never seen one. But in our times, God has given us the opportunity to see one. And even if it is not a pleasant phenomenon, we know that in Christ, all things work together for our good. And so we are not afraid, but we face this tiny but deadly virus with a force that is mightier. And that is the fact that I am covered and I am covered under the blood of Jesus. This little thing has, is, is causing fear and panic all over the place. But we thank God. We want to take a verb, uh, our, our theme scripture. We are taking our theme scripture from Exodus. Exodus chapter... We first read chapter 11, Exodus 11. We are reading from verses 4 to 7. And I'm taking it from the NIV, Exodus 11, 4 to 7. This is what the Lord says, About midnight I will go throughout Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die. From the firstborn son of Pharaoh, who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the slave girl, who is at her hand male, and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will be loud wailing throughout Egypt, worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. Verse 7, but among the Israelites, not a dog will bark at any man or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. Amen. And now, the, our theme verse uh, in chapter 12. Chapter 12. Um, we can read from verses 3 to 13, but for the sake of time, we will just take the... Verses 12 and 13. You can read from, even from the beginning of the chapter up to verse 13, but we are taking 12 and 13 for the sake of time. On that night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you, on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, that is the word of God. So, as I said, the times we live in are very distressing times because of this COVID-19. It has brought untold hardships on our social life. There is a ban on mass gatherings. Many of our scheduled activities have grounded to a halt, like funerals, weddings, and those of our brothers, sisters, our children who, have, who were to complete their basic schooling, high school, tertiary, are all waiting for the lifting of these restrictions. We don't know when. We are still in waiting. Churches and other religious groups are missing the physical fellowship, the corporate anointing, the glorious presence of God in our worship times. There's social and physical distancing. No handshakes. Can you imagine that? No handshakes, no hugging. We sit, quote unquote, miles apart. And the most uncomfortable, the wearing of face masks. I wonder what our, our, our children and grandchildren would ask us 20 years, 30 years from now, when they look at the television and they see us discussing on television and, and, and they see us discussing, um, sitting, at distances with, with, with something in front uh, or covering our nose and mouth and all that, and they'll begin to ask questions. Why were, where were our fathers doing this? And there's a, a story. This story of COVID-19 will be told. There, is, there are loss of jobs. Many jobs have been lost. Travel and migration have been seriously curtailed. There is fear. Everywhere, anxiety, the fear of death, the fear of catching the virus. And these are genuine fears. Because we have seen people, some loved ones, people we know, people we don't know, who have been affected by this disease, and some of whom have even departed this world because of COVID-19. There appears to be very little hope in our health facilities, even in the most advanced nations. But there is one place we can find hope, and that is hope in God. Hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. In his recent book John, titled Coronavirus and Christ, John Piper writes, there is a better way there is a better place to stand, a rock of certainty rather than the sand of probabilities. Hallelujah. And so, yes, there is a better way. There is a better place to stand. There is a rock of certainty and not the sand of probabilities that we are all seeing in our days, even in the most trusted and advanced of nations. And so, what is happening, though may be new, may not be that new, because in history we have read that there have been so many pandemics in the past, but the, the passage that we read talks about the people of Israel who uh, had been captives in Egypt for over 400 years, and God's time came for them to move out. But the king of the land said, no way. There was no way he was going to let his captives go away from the country. God had to send Moses and through him miracles, signs, and wonders were performed in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh hardened his heart. But we thank God 
that our God, no matter the situation, is still in control. And even as I speak to you now, God is in control. Take heart, because our God is still on his throne. He has never been overthrown. He has never been destroyed. And he is still the God of yesterday, today, and forever. And so God commanded Moses from the verse that we read in Exodus 11, God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh that he was going to perform the last of the signs and wonders, and that one will cause Pharaoh to release the Israelites who were captives in, in, in Egypt. And so, what was that sign? The sign was that God said, I'm going to send, he even used the word, I am going to pass through the land of Egypt. He says, at midnight, I am going to pass through the land of Egypt, and I'm going to strike every firstborn of the Egyptians, including animals of the Egyptians. The firstborn of animals and the firstborn of human beings. And so Moses went and told Pharaoh. And then he came back and told the Israelites that this is what the Lord says. He's going to pass through this land and strike every firstborn of the land. But this is what you will do. You will kill a lamb and use the blood to smear the blood of the lamb that has been killed on your, the two doorposts and on the lintel. And then go inside. And when you do that, the angel of death will pass through the night and every household that has the mark of the blood of the lamb on it, on its doorpost, will be spared. This is a story I believe many know. And the people of Israel obeyed. And everyone that obeyed that command and sprayed the blood of the animal on the doorpost in the night, the angel of death, angel of destruction, passed by. And in every household in Egypt, except the household that had the blood of the lamb was struck. And the firstborn in each household died. And as chapter 11 said, there was wailing such as they had never seen before or heard before. But on the Israeli side, every household that had the blood of the lamb spared the household. And I dare believe that some might have dared to do that. And they would have been saved. Today, what are we talking about? We are talking about the fact that that lamb that was slain and whose blood the angel of destruction saw and passed over is none other. That lamb was no other than the lamb of God. Many years ago, Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 53 verse 7 that the Lamb of God 
that was slain and became let me let me quote it Isaiah 53 verse 7 says he was oppressed and afflicted yet he did not open his mouth he was led like a lamb he was led like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers and as a sheep before her shearers is silent so he did not open his mouth so Isaiah saw it many, many, many years before the reality happened, before Jesus came physically, that he was led like a lamb to be slaughtered. And so the lamb of God, whose blood, like the type that happened in Egypt, today we know, from scripture, that it is not just an ordinary animal, but it was a symbol of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, throwing more light on what Isaiah said in Isaiah 53, verse, verse 7, that we've just read, John said in John 1, 29, that behold, the Lamb of God, the Bible said that when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming towards him, he pointed the crowd to Jesus, and said that, behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. And so John the Baptist made it very plain that Jesus Christ was and is the Lamb of God. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7b, Paul writes, for Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. And so Jesus Christ, who is our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. And then, let's uh, read, finally, 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 18 and 19. First Peter 1 verse 18 and 19. And there it says, For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these times, in these lifetimes for your sakes. For your sakes, or for your sake, actually, for your sake. He was revealed in these last times for your sake. So, the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world in the Garden of Eden, in Egypt, and whom John declared to be the Lamb of God. And Paul says that he is Christ, our Passover Lamb, has been sacrificed. And all those who run unto him are covered by this blood. And so, yes, in the face of the deadly, tiny terrorist called COVID, we have a much mightier power called the blood of Jesus, called the name of Jesus, called the word of, of God. Hallelujah. And so we are covered in the face of COVID. This is what we came to tell you, that we are not afraid because come what may, one day we will all leave this earth. I believe there are many Christians among, or there are some Christians among the, the thousands of people who have departed this world as a result of COVID-19. But we have double protection. We have protection here, right here on earth, 
And if it pleases the Lord to call us, we are also covered. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. And so either way, we are not afraid. For Christ is Lord in life and in death. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, in verse 12 of Exodus, verse 11 of Exodus 12, he says that, eat in haste with your dresses tucked, your, your, your dresses tucked in your beds. Meaning that there is no time to waste. Whatever God has commanded us to do, let us just do it. For the Bible says that the king's business demands haste. And so as PENSA members and as the youth of the church and as the young people throughout the world, let us use the positive effect of this COVID-19 let us learn something from the lessons that this deadly disease has brought into the world. Even in these negative and distressing times, there is something positive for us as Christians. There is the use of technology in holding meetings and conferences. And you know, because of that, traveling long distances with this attendance, uh, attendant uh, uh, cost has drastically reduced. <laughs> and so meetings that we used to travel by air, by sea, by land to, to hold, now we can just sit in the comfort of our homes or offices and have a meeting of hundreds of people. This is something that has been accentuated, has been emphasized, that, that has come out of COVID-19. Yes, technology has been there, but these are things that are coming up, and we thank God for that. There are family gatherings for devotions and for fellowship. There is improvement in hygiene. Because of COVID-19, now we are washing our hands left, right, and center. Every few minutes, it just dawns on you to wash your hands. And as you wash your hands, we want to challenge you to use these same times to wash your life. And the only one that washes life bright and clean is the blood of Jesus. And this is the blood under which we are covered. We are covered. And so as you wash your hands to to cover yourself from COVID-19, just wash your soul through the power of the blood of Jesus, and you will be covered. And that is why we say that COVID-20 is bigger than COVID-19. Hallelujah. There is the emergence, one of the positive effects, and, and is the emergence of inherent creative ideas and inventions including young people, and I've been reading and watching on television right here in our country, in Ghana, and I believe in many other places, young people as young as 10, 11, 12 years are inventing things, coming out with innovations, making hand-washing machines, local companies and individuals manufacturing sanitizers, and face masks. We used to buy all, uh, uh, all this from, from abroad. But now, through this COVID-19, God is giving us creativity. I pray that pencil members all over the world, we will receive the spirit of creativity in the name of Jesus. That in these times when we are reflecting when we are indoors, when we are locked down, I always say that, yes, we are locked down, but we are not locked out. And so as we are locked down and reflecting, God will bring, the, to, will give us the spirit of creativity, the spirit of innovation for us to come out of this COVID-19 
with inventions, with innovations, so that we can make our world a better place. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, finally, let me say, let us pray for those who are infected to recover. Those who are infected with COVID-19, we pray that they will be covered under COVID-20. Let's pray against new infections. Let's pray for creativity in serving humanity. Let's pray that God will use this pandemic too to cause us to move electronically and technologically to any part of the world to call people to come to the saving knowledge of Christ. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, we thank God that in good and bad times, he gives us opportunities to serve him and to serve humanity. We pray that you will know that in these difficult times, you are covered. And because you are covered, you will not panic. And because you are covered, you will move out electronically to touch other lives. And you will bring the message of hope to those who are panicking in the face of pan uh, COVID-19. May you be covered, and may COVID-20 cover you from COVID-19. In Jesus' name, amen. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you.
We saw them worshiping the Lord because they knew that the battle was of God. And this afternoon, we are also standing in the presence of God. And we want to lift our prayers unto the Most High God. We want to tell God that we are waiting on Him, we are depending on Him. Our eyes are on Him because everything seems to fail and everything.
We want to pray. The Bible said in the verse that we just read, it said, For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us. COVID is coming as a multitude, coming against our families and coming against the church. The church and the families are intertwined. And so we know that as we are staying home and this COVID is affecting our families, our churches are also being affected. And therefore we want to pray that the Lord who said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is the God, the father of the church, the owner of the church, your God, my God. In his presence, we stand this hour. And therefore we want to pray and lift up our families for his protection. For he covered them with the blood for protection. We want to pray for his church that the Lord God Almighty himself will come at this point in time to protect the church, to preserve the church, and to provide for the church. That Jesus Christ, our Joseph, will protect the church, will preserve the church, and will provide for our families in this point in time. Let us lift up our voice in prayer. Jesus, 
We are reading from Psalm 145, verses 18 through 19. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. Yes. He also will hear their cry oh, and save yes, them. Lord. Father in heaven, this afternoon or evening, we want to thank you. I pray blessing your name for grace and mercies. We want to thank you for the leadership for bringing this into fruition, O oh Lord. The Lord, nations will stand together in oneness, in unison, O oh Lord, my God, to cry unto you in truth. Believe in the Lord, even though leadership are trying to make an effort to solve that pandemic. Jesus. We believe the Lord, our lives are in your hands. Father, you own the world and you created the world according to your purpose. And therefore, this is a chance for us to know and believe that our God owns the world. And that is why we cry unto you. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for our businesses. We want to lift up our families before your throne of grace this hour. We want to pray for our churches. For the Bible says, oh Lord, we should not forsake the meeting of the brethren. But Lord, even though we know you are in our hearts and we pray and in our homes, Father, we yearn for you to come together as a body. And we pray the Lord after this COVID 2020, we are going to see a miracle. We are going to see your miraculous power. And people are going to testify that when we stood together to pray, the Lord performed his miracles in the nations. Lord, we pray that the economies of the world will become bullish again. Father, I pray for a revival. I pray when there is in our economies, let the resuscitation come. All to the glory of your name. Father, we want to bless your name. We want to magnify you. We want to say the Lord, you are God. And we bless you, Lord. For we know and we believe in our spirit that you are a prayer answering God. And whatever we have lifted before you tonight, Father God, we look forward for the miracle to begin right away. Father, we thank you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is our provider. He is our protector. Yes. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood that covered the doors of the hearts of men. Father, thank you for the blood. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and let everyone who sits and hears my voice in his or her home begin to thank and clap to the glory of God because it is accomplished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Belgium. Thank you so much. We thank you. God richly bless you for joining us.
The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. If you have been blessed by what you've seen today, we would humbly ask for you to partner with us by going to pensainternational.org forward slash give to make a financial contribution to this ministry. The International Ministry of Pentecost Students and Associates, Pensa International, exists to complement the Church of Pentecost's global evangelic vision. By the grace of God, the church has propagated the undiluted message of the gospel in over a hundred countries across the world. We seek to We thank God for such an opportunity to reach out to you from the throne and from the presence of God. We want to enter into the Holy of Holies, touch the throne of God, and ask the heavens to come down. And I just want to read from the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 29 to 30. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hands to heal and to perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Amen. The task today to enter into his presence and to pray is that God will, through this prayer, raise an army, a battalion, a team of young, old, men and women across the globe, people with fire in their bones, men that will rise out of this so-called COVID-19 and be covered with grace, be covered with oil, an army that is raised, that will be able to contend, face any challenge that this season may bring. So we're just going to enter into prayer. Wherever you are, join me with your heart, join me with your spirit, and let us pray that, oh God, consider what is going on. The apostles had a challenge of persecution, of threats. That was their challenge. Today, we are faced with a challenge of COVID-19, a challenge that is not enabling us to go out there, preach the way we want to preach, not allowing us to meet, not allowing us to do the kind of things that we would do. But hey, the word of God cannot be changed. And so through virtual means, we can still reach out. And so we're asking God to raise an army, raise people across the globe, who will stand in prayer, who will be on fire, who will be revived, an army that will come out of this COVID-19 more dynamic, more spirit-filled, more character-based Christians who understand their calling and people who do mighty works, not only in church, but in their corporate world as we possess the nation. It's not by might, 
It will not be by power. Oh, by my spirit, Lord. We are praying for an army to be raised. It's not by my power. It is not by power. Oh, by my spirit, Lord. Every mountain. Oh, this mountain shall be removed. Oh, this mountain shall be removed. This mountain shall be removed by my spirit. So first of all, I want us to lift our voice and say, God, enable us. Consider what is going on and give us enablement. Consider the things that are around us and enable us. May we pray for spiritual enablement, spiritual energy. Spiritual vigor, may the spirit of the Lord stir the hearts of men and women across the world. Let's raise our voices. Father, we are praying for the spirit of enablement. You who raise an army out of this COVID-19, who are covered by the blood, who are covered by grace, who are covered by power, who are covered by authority, who are covered by the oil of the living God. We are praying into the whole of Africa that you will raise up men. You will raise up women, oh God. We are praying that you will enable people all over the place. Father, arise in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise, Lord, arise. Lord, arise and all over the world, all over the world. We are praying in the great men and America, Latin America, Southern America, across the globe. Raise men and women all over and never them to come out as an army, a strong force, a strong force, a team that cannot be defeated, a team that cannot be suppressed, a team that will come out with the vision, a team that understands what they have to do. It will not be by might. And do not be by power, oh God. Continue to do great things. Continue to be a brother of Shada. Be lifted among us. Exalted. Kapei, Talu, Savarandu. Be Kabalabala Bandu. Shikalabala. Enable us. Enable us. Spiritual enable us. Enable us. Kiyando, Lamaski, Kilele Banda. Rabo, Shikilele Banda. Rababa, Baleka, Sutala Banda. Lord, enable us. Father, enable us. Kiyandelele Mandu. Zikilele Basha. Rapato, Sikilele Baba Banda. And Nicholas and Nicholas, look at what is happening all around us. Bad forward everywhere. The challenges that we are going through. And Lord and Nicholas, give us the strength, give us the purpose. Yakula man, Rather than 
Now we want to pray. What should God enable us to do? He should enable us to raise a new breed, a new generation. He should enable us to raise a new people out of these experiences. Enable us to do what? Enable us to preach the word with great boldness. An army that will avail themselves for God to use. A people with fire on their tongue. A people with fire in their bones. People who will not control to any challenge, but they will rise and face any battle. People with power, people with grace, people with oil. So we are not just asking for enablement, but we are saying that a new breed, a new generation, a new vigor in Africa, in Europe, in the Americas, North and South, in Asia, across the globe. Let them be the raising of a new army. Shall we begin to pray? Shall we continue to pray? Maso Kalabandaya, people with fire on their tongue, people with grace upon their lives. Who preach with power and name of Jesus. People who are so burdened. 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 Behind the we want to zero in to Penza International. These are young, energetic, vibrant people. And like the apostles, may God raise apostles and prophets, I mean, evangelists, pastors. I'm not talking about only full-time ministers, but I'm talking about lawyers who are apostles, evangelists who, I mean, doctors who carry prophetic oil, business executive, corporate leaders who carry oil upon their lives, people who are in school, SRC presidents, student representative presidents, who carry favor, aura, something about them that will change their world. So we want to pray for PENSA International in particular. We want to pray for the PENSA alumni. We want to pray for those who are within the PENSA in school and out of school fraternity, that God would enable them to preach his word with great boldness. He should stretch forth his hands to heal and to perform miraculous signs and wonders. Let testimonies begin to come out of this Cabot 2020 prayer meeting. Shall we now zero in and begin to pray for Pensa International? Across, across the globe. Father, we are praying for Pensa International. We are praying for leadership, Patrick and his team. We are asking that you will stand in the streets, you will open their ears, you will open their senses, you will cause them to know you and to understand you in the name of Jesus.
of the wind of COVID 2020, covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. A flow of giftings, a flow of grace, a raising of an army. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. Join souls for Christ and join us in a worthy cause. To make a secure online digital donation, please visit pensainternational.org forward slash give and fill out the information listed. May God richly bless you.
just teach you the vision that I have whenever I sing that song of you. This song is so deep for all of us, I believe. Because whenever I hear that you are God and we it's like a whole, you know, a whole nation. So many people gather together and say that you are God. And we want to proclaim that one day every knee will bow. It shall bow, they shall bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus is the only God, is the only name that is worthy to be praised, is the only name that can save, is the only name that can redeem nations, and his name is available for everybody. For it is said that call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. So Lord, as we raise it the altar of worship. We pray, God, that you will redeem our nations. We pray, God, that you will heal our land. Heal our land, oh God, as our worshippers and as our people say that you are our God. And we worship you. You are our God. And we worship you. You are
So wherever you are, I want you to jump on your feet whenever I proclaim that you are God. Come on, if you can just clap your hands. Yeah. 
righteous hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus 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 hallelujah hallelujah we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you lord for this precious time we thank you lord for this special time you gave us lord thank you thank you for the opportunity we lord thank you thank you that we are covered thank you that we are covered by the blood of jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you that we are not under any pressure of covid 19 but thank you that we are covered 2020 lord thank you for pens international entire team lord we thank you and we bless the leadership execution team it everyone who are in this project to make it happen lord thank you for this for this opportunity thank you that we are praying together right now with our teams from china and philippines lord thank you for this opportunity for the technology for the chance to come before you as one to come in unity in a prayer in petitions for this world lord in such a special time as this we all are living right now Lord, we thank you. Your word saying in Luke 12, 35, be dressed ready for service and keep your lamps burning. Thank you, Father, that you're reminding us that no matter what, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter where we are, in every single place, you're speaking this word to everyone who are watching right now, especially to youth, especially for, for young people, especially for new generation, especially for uh generation you're speaking this word and you're saying to every one of us in every single place we are in every single home we are in every single country we are in every single neighborhood we are you're saying be dressed ready for service and keep your lamps burning father thank you thank you that you're keeping our lamps burning thank you that you put your lamps inside of us thank you for that we able to be on fire for the prayer thank you that you're lifting up the prayer across the globe across the churches among the churches among the global church onto the new level lord thank you for the prayer altar that you're rebuilding a prayer altar among the churches lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus i believe if you able to turn such time as this in good i believe the the word I, and your word saying that we know all things God works together for good for to those who being called according to his purpose and to those who are loving him. So I believe, Lord, I believe you are able to do tremendous things in all of us who are eager, who are desire, who are hunger for you, who are calling you. Lord, in the times such as this, when people across the globe watch washing their hands very firm, very, very well, Lord, you are washing, I believe, our hearts. You are watching, you're doing it visible and much powerful work in us. Not visible, not visible, but you doing, you washing our hearts. And I believe you make us pure, you make us holy, you make us righteous for the great things you are prepared in store for every one of us lord we thank you lord we thank you lord we, th we pray right now for all people for all people right now who are watching lord we're praying for everyone every single place lord we're praying for the world may know you lord we pray that they may may encounter you lord may have salvation through jesus christ lord every knee shall bow down before you lord lord we're praying right now across the globe we agree to pray for asia for africa for europe for north and south america for australia and oceania for nations government church Churches, Lord, and we know that in, in Acts chapter 4, they were one in heart and mind, Lord. And right yeah. now, and after yeah. they prayed, the place where they meeting was shaken, Lord. I believe it could happen through technology. I believe you're doing right now, and you're able to shake every single place, every single chair, every single monitor, every single computer or telephone or mobile phone or device. You're able to shake the place where we are right now. We, we agree, Lord, and we pray that you're able to shake this place and pour out your Holy Spirit Pour out your anointing, pour out your
blessings throughout your grace and empower empower your church globally empower your ministers globally empower your servants globally lord we pray that you are doing such a great job inside of us such time as this lord i'm praying right now for the people, for the person who watching me right now and sitting on the on the chair, on the sofa, whatever you're sitting right now, I believe God is watching. God is doing something inside of you. God is doing something with your heart. And this time, God want to use to empower you, to equip you, to wash you, to cleanse you, to pure you in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, if everything is staying against you and God, and between you and God, if anything was between you and God, every any sin, everything but which you able, which you are right now, I command and I proclaim you able to commit and you able to to ask and confess your sins. God is able to provide and pure pure grace on you right now in Jesus mighty name. My pray, my prayer right now is for oneness. My prayer is for unity among the churches, among the brothers, among the sisters. Unite us, Lord. Unite us and bind us, Lord, all together in your love, Lord. We pray for the opportunity, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in our days. We know, Lord, you did that before. You did that many times. And we pray right now for revival. You are God of revival. And we're praying for revival first in our hearts, Lord. Touch our hearts, Lord. Touch our hearts, Lord. By your Holy Spirit, cleans our heart. Makes our heart clean, Lord. Makes our heart having these lamps burning and desire in our hearts to serve you. Desire to pray. Desire to be with you, Lord. Make your revival in our communities, in our neighborhood. Make your revival in our house, in our families. Make your revival in our businesses. I bless the businessmen all around the world who are serving God. I pray that no matter what no matter what the economy say no matter what what amounts no matter what your accountants say you're gonna prosper and you're gonna be a blessings for many nations you're gonna be a rich for the good deeds and you're gonna bless many people around in jesus mighty name god able god able god is above any economy god is above any calculation or mathematics god is above he is above in jesus mighty name and he are able to restore your business he are able to restore your ministry he are able to restore your family right now right here no matter where are you now he is restoring you in jesus mighty name lord we pray lord we pray for the marketplace lord we pray for the revival came into the marketplaces and hit the marketplaces and may revival came from the marketplaces we pray lord we pray for revival in our cities Lord, we, we pray for revival in our cities. Lord, we pray for revival in our countries. Lord, we pray for revival in our continents, in nations, in government. Lord, I believe you're able to bring revival even to government. Lord, we speak grace among the government. We speak shalom. We bless the government of each country where you put us, Lord, to serve. We speak grace. We speak shalom. We speak mercy. We speak grace. We speak shalom. We speak mercy upon the government we bless the government in jesus mighty name we bless the rules of each country in jesus mighty name where you put us to serve lord in jesus mighty name we pray for every country every continent lord and we believe lord it is just a beginning it is just a beginning of what we haven't seen yet and what we will see, we will see your goodness. We will see more miracles. I believe this is a time to see more miracles than ever. I believe it is a time to see more saved souls than ever. I believe it is a last time and we shall see more of your glory. Lord, I believe it's a fullness of your time to see more of your glory and to give more glory to you, God. We see that even the presidents, 
we see that a few days ago, President Donald Trump said that it should reopen all the churches across the country. We know across, and he said that it is that America, the most thing is needed is a prayers. So I believe it's not only for America. Mm-hmm. I believe it's it's for mm-hmm. every country. The most thing mm-hmm. we need today, it's not to shut down the churches, it's not to close the churches, it's to it's to pray. So I believe, Lord, through this conference, through this prayer marathon, cover 20, you start doing something tremendous. You start doing something supernatural across the globe, across the globe. So we, we, we thank you, Lord, for you are lifting up the prayers. I believe that you're using this special time to lift our personal prayer level into another level. And right now, it's time when we can gather all together across the world and lift our prayers and petitions for this world Because we know that your will is that no one perish. We know that your will for no one perish, Lord. So we pray for all people, Lord. We pray and we speak grace. We speak mercy. We speak shalom. We speak salvation. We speak revival in every country, every continent, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. May your will be done in Africa as it is in heaven. May your will be done in Europe, as it is in heaven. May your will be done in Asia, as it is in heaven. May your will be done in North America, as it is in heaven. May your will be done in South America, as it is in heaven. May your will be done in Australia, as it is in heaven. In Oceania, as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. God, you are God of wonders. Your power has no end. Things you have done before in a greater measure, you will do again, Lord. Just do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord, through your servants, through those young people, Lord, who are eager for revival, who are eager to see your glory, who are eager to see that your word is fulfilling all across the globe, that a soul is saving all across the, the globe, Lord. Reveal, Lord. Reveal, Lord. Reveal, Lord. Reveal, Lord, your supernatural power, your anointing, Lord, so that every one of us, everyone who's seeking you, be able to speak the word of God boldly. Equip your church, Lord, in in such time as this. Equip your sons and daughters so that your kingdom will expand in in the way we never see before, Lord. We, We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for your blood that we able, that we might be covered in this COVID-19 situation. We are covered. We are covered 19, we are covered 20, we're covered all of our entire life. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Do it again. Do it again, Lord. We know that there is no prison wall you can't break through. There is no prison wall you can't break through. No mountain you can't move. All things are possible in you, Lord. And we're staying on your word and proclaim your word boldly. Give this boldness. Equip your church. Equip your church. Train your church in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, equip everybody who is sitting, who is staying, who is worshiping, who is laying. It doesn't matter. Just equip with the Holy Spirit. Equip with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, Lord. We believe, Lord. And we proclaim by our words, by our minds, that there is no broken body you can't raise. No soul that you can't save. All things are possible. You are God of revival. You are God of revival. Death is overcome. You already won, Lord. And may this be reality for millions of people. Instead of COVID-19, let them encounter 
May grace and blessings have covered 20. What we believe this season, 2020, you're going to use in your mighty way. And we are ready, God. We are ready and we expect to see more wonders, more miracles, more grace, more mercy, more protection, more provision, more of your presence, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Another time we have together in prayer. Jesus in Matthew chapter 6 and in Luke chapter 11 taught us to pray. Then Jesus said that when you pray, he didn't say if you pray. The reason is that prayer is a necessity and not an option. <laughs> E.M. Bounds said that no man is greater than his prayer life. When John Wesley was almost done with his ministry, he said, it seemed to me that God does nothing unless a man prays. John Knox one day said, oh God, give me Scotland or I die. Listen to me, prayer is our breath. And if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. John Wesley and Charles Wesley could come together and say that what peace we often forfeit what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer sometimes we give commentary about things but the truth about the matter is that we need men who shall stand in prayer Elijah was a man like us subject unto like passions like us the Bible said that he prayed I pray that we will pray hallelujah praise the Lord Hallelujah. Amen. Want to begin by blessing the name of the Lord for even this section. Jesus said that when you pray, say this, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You want to bless the name of the Lord, honor the name of the Lord. Bless the name of our King, honor the name of our King. We bless you, O oh God. We honor you, O oh God. We give all glory to you. We give all glory unto you, Lord. We give all honor unto you, Lord. There is no God like you. Wherever you are, lift up your voice. Bless the name of the Lord. Honor the name of the Lord. There is no God like him. There is no king like him. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He's El Shaddai. El Elyon, he's the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the mediator of our new covenant. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, my spirit, magnify the Lord. My soul, praise his name. Another the name of the Lord. He is worthy, he is worthy. It is the doing of the Lord. And it is marvelous in our sight. Bless the name of the Lord. Who is likened unto this God? Who can be compared unto God? Hey! We bless the name of our king. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. You are worthy. Join us. Lift up the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, there is no king like him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm reading from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. The Bible says that for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Fear is not a feeling. Fear is not a joke. Fear is a spirit. So when the enemy is bringing disease, the one he sends to come and knock at your door is called fear. When he's bringing death, the one who announces his presence is called fear. We thought that all that happened to Job was just from the enemy. But <laughs> scripture said, Job said that that which I feared came upon me. You know, in this time when nations... And economies have been shut down. The enemy is 
releasing certain voices in the atmosphere projections of fear but this afternoon we want to pray this day we want to pray that in the name of Jesus let any covering of fear that is moving across the nations let it be taken off in the name of Jesus let's have your voice and let's pray Malaba yada bala bahaya, yada bala randa bala baya bah, yada bala bah yada bala bah, yada bala bah yada bala bah, randa randa bala bah, bah yada bala randa bala bah, ah yada bala randa bah, randa randa bala bah, bah yada bala randa bah, ah yada bala randa bah, ah yada bala bah, ah yada bala bah, ah yada bala bah, ah randa bala bah yada bah. Andala baya baha, andala baya baha, rada bala baha, ayada bala baha. We have the spirit of God in us. We dispel fear all over the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Bayada bala baya, rada baya baha. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice wherever you are against the spirit of fear hiding behind. Even COVID-19, in the name of Jesus, we are releasing the fiercelessness of God. The power of God. All across the nations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, this is the strategy of the enemy. From time immemorial. You remember when Goliath was defiling the armies of the Lord. He knew he was strong. He knew he was a warrior. He knew he had everything as a warrior. But look at what he did. He went around speaking. He went around speaking. But when David also came onto the scene, David did not keep quiet. Fear has a voice. Faith has a voice. If you have faith as little as the mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain that it be moved and cast into the sea and it shall obey. You want to lift up your voice of faith. First John chapter 5 and verse 4. The Bible says, He that is born of God, he has overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcame the world. Even our faith, even our faith, we want to speak words of faith that in the name of Jesus, it is well with the nations. The nations are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, real issues of life actually demand real solutions. Listen to me, there comes a time where science does not have all the answers. There comes a time where medicine does not have all the answers. But scripture says that the chastisement for our peace was laid on him. That by his stripes we are healed. We want to pray this prayer for anyone across the nations of the world who is battling with disease. Who is battling with COVID-19? Who is battling with sickness? In any shape and form, we are declaring mass healing. We are declaring mass healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and let's pray. 
Be healed wherever you are. If you are sick in any part of your body, right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. We pray the healing power of the Lord all over the nations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord is brooding across the nations of the world. The presence of the Lord is strong wherever you are connecting from. Right now, if you are sick in any part of your body, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Let men in wheelchairs jump out. Let men who are sick in any part of your body, blindness, stroke, diabetes, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we command you right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The leper came to Jesus and asked him, if it is your will, make me well. Jesus said, it is my will. It is the will of God that you'll be fine. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. We want to say this prayer. We give all glory to God for another time we have together in prayer. Jesus in Matthew chapter 6 and in Luke chapter 11 taught us to pray. Then Jesus said that when you pray, he didn't say if you pray. The reason is that prayer is a necessity and not an option. each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. to us. Yes. If you're still alive, wave your hand wherever you are. Yeah. Um, it's by God's grace that in the midst of all the, all the trials, all the tribulations that we see around us, that we are still alive. Yeah. And one thing I know is that whenever you are in trouble, there's one word that I love. It says that I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? Yeah. My help cometh from nowhere but from God. He who made the heavens and the earth. Yes. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee shall neither slumber nor sleep. Because the Lord is your keeper. Amen. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve your soul. In your going out and your coming in, he shall take care of you. And no harm shall befall you. Yet though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear nothing else. Because God is with you. If you love that, put your hands together and celebrate Jesus right now. It's a song that you know how to sing.
times all the Don't 
Promise keeper, you. Yeah, you made. You're a way maker. You're a miracle worker. Promise keeper, you. You made. Never ever let me down. Yes, you did. You made. You refuse my enemies to triumph over me. Yes, you. Weapon formed against me shall prosper because you, you made a way. You lay me down in greener pastures, yes, you did, yes, you did. You made a way. Oh, don't know how, don't know how, but you did it. You made it. Don't know how, you went down to the grave. For my sake, don't know how, but you, you made a way. You love me so much. You love me so much. Yes, you did. And we're standing here only.
dance. Who's up, 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 from God. We believe that you will be touched, blessed, and encouraged by the, this session, and that God will do a new thing in your life. Once again, we want to humbly welcome all of you who are watching us for this program. And in this note, I will humbly in the national head of the Church of Pentecost, Germany, in the person of Apostle Ebenezer Ni Odaque for this session. God bless you. Have a number. Amen. Eh?
from Germany. We are praying for the leadership of the church. Yes, Lord. The leadership of the Church of Pentecost. Our chairman, the executive council, the national heirs, the area heirs, the pastorates, and the entire membership. That God should grant us divine wisdom Jesus. and direction in this unusual COVID-19 season. Mm. God should grant us wisdom and understanding in this pandemic season. That we have new innovations so that we can direct the church and the blood of Jesus will cover us. Mm. I want you to lift up prayer. A man. Mm. This evening we're going to pray. Yes, Lord. Elijah had a feeling, affection and constitution, but he prayed earnestly. We are praying that the Bible says, 
In my distress, I cried to the Lord, yes, Lord. and he heard me. We are praying that the Lord should hear us Jesus. in this pandemic period, in this COVID-19, that will be covered by the blood of Jesus. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. <laughs> Ministers of states mm. are running away. Mm. Here in Dutchland, someone threw himself mm. into a rail line. A minister of finance, mm. and he died, committed suicide. He doesn't know race, whether you are black or white, whether you are tall or short. Mm. Shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous. Mm. We are praying. Mm. That God, God should lift up his banner and cover his people with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. We are pleading mm. the blood of Jesus mm. over the nations of the world, mm. over our church members, yes. over every people. Lift up prayer. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
I know the Lord has said our prayer. Yes, Lord. I know the Lord has said our prayer. Yes, Lord. And Jehoshaphat worshiped the Lord. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Blessings and glory. Come on. That the hand of the Lord will be revealed. Yes, Lord. We bless you and praise you. Yes, Lord. That grant our leaders their wisdom, their skills, innovations to be able to manage and to handle this case of coronavirus. That if the priests of this world had known, mm. they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Mm. But what the eyes have been seen, mm. what the ears have been heard, yes, what has not entered into the hearts of men, mm. they are the things which Jehovah God. I prepare for those who love him. Mm. And this will be experienced mm. in our days and our time. Jesus. We bless you and we praise you. We magnify you yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. 
Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. Oh, 
the Lord, I am free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I am free. The Lord is our Father, He is our source. Jesus, we worship you. So bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, 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 my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Worship his holy and I worship your holy name. Jesus, I worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. 
today, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship His Elder. Yes, sir. They ran into a slight glitch. You know, he loves you more than you can ever imagine. He loves you more than you love yourself. God knows your needs. And the lifting of your hands tells him that, Father, I'm your daughter, I'm your son, and I belong to you. Would you touch me and change me? Lift your hands to the heavens. Begin to talk to me. Behold, uh, I am the Lord. I'm the God. Hold on to your 
faith, my sister, and your confession all days of your life. And you will see the hand of the Lord. Anybody who agrees with me, declare it. Say, He is my God. He's not anything He's never too late. Always on time. Never disappointed. Trusting for the sweet. to pray this very evening or afternoon depending on what time zone you are in brothers and sisters we are grateful for the opportunity to pray this very evening or afternoon depending on what time zone you are in um, we're going to focus on four prayer points and we're going to zoom straight in the first point point that we're going to look at is exercising god's control over the affairs of the earth our second prayer point will be a prayer for the vulnerable and the helpless our third prayer point will be praying into the salvation of many amidst this pandemic. And then our fourth and final prayer point will be for the deliverance of people from the hands of this pandemic. And so we want to zoom straight in. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are, the Bible tells us that to our God belongs the heavens, the highest heavens and the earth. That means nothing is outside of the dominion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are praying that God's influence, God's control, God's governance will be exerted over the affairs of this globe. Why don't you join me in praying in this regard right now? Praying, exercising God's authority over every sphere of society, over every decision, over every thought process, that the Lord will exercise his control in this moment in time. Lord, 
God. Let your power be exercised. Let your power be exerted. Let your influence be known. Let every single person across the global world feel the warmth of your embrace. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we pray, O oh God, right this moment, Father, exercise your influence. Father, exercise your control. Father, exercise your dominance. Let your authority be felt in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your power be known. Let your power be experienced. Let the gospel be extended. Let it be a reach of your hand, O God. For your arms are not short, that it cannot stretch and save, that it cannot stretch and exert influence. Let your power be known. Let your power be felt. Let your power be experienced. Let your control be seen. Let your governance be felt. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Father, everybody across the globe will come to know the kingship of Jesus. Will come to know the authority in Jesus. Will come to know the power of your gospel. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your power be felt. Let your warmth be embraced. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we want to echo a part of Hannah's prayer in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 8. I'm just going to read very quickly. It says, he raises the poor from the dust and he lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with nobles and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he set the world on them. Many people in this moment in time have their heads held down. Many people do not know where to go. Many people are swamped with debt. Many people are swamped with unemployment. The deaths and bereavement are taking its toll on many people's mental health as they watch people die in isolation. And so right this moment, circumstances have arised in many lives that people have no escape route. And we are praying right this moment in time for these vulnerable people. That the Lord himself will hold their hands and walk them through this moment of trial and chaos and despair and difficulty. That the Lord will cause his power to be felt, his warmth to be felt. That the Lord will exert comfort, that the Lord will exert again his influence in their lives. As they think they're walking through the valleys, may they walk, look up and see the hills. May they look up and see the hills. This is our prayer right this moment in time. Why don't you join me wherever you are and be serious, be earnest. The Bible says the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous. The effective, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And if it availeth much, then indeed your prayer will make a difference to somebody who is in a low place right this moment in time. We live the vulnerable before you. We live the lost before you. We live the helpless before you. We live the hopeless before you. We live the poor before you. We live the needy before you. We live them all before you, oh God. For you are the lifter of our heads. You are the lifter of our heads. Father, let your embrace be felt. Father, let your comfort be experienced in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, hold their hands. Father, have them in your arms. Father, embrace them. 
Father, wrap yourself around them. Let them feel your warm embrace in the name of Jesus. See them through their valley moments. Let them lift up their heads and see where their help comes from. Let them lift up their heads and see you as their safe refuge. In the name of Jesus, see you as their defenders. In the name of Jesus, and see you as the reliability of their lives. In the name of Jesus, Make it shine your light upon them in the name of Jesus. Shine your light upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Shine your light upon them in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Almighty, let them experience you anew. Let them experience you anew. Let them experience you anew in the name of Jesus. Let them come to find you as the confidence of their life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are in the world, continue to pray earnestly. Many people are relying on your prayer right this moment in time. Many people are relying on your prayer right this moment in time. Why don't you exert your influence in the spiritual realm by offering a prayer, a prayer that is seen as the bowl of incense, which heaven always requires as its fragrance. Right this moment, why don't you lift up a fragrance of prayer? Why don't you lift as an intercessor, just like Abraham did in the days of old, just like Elijah did in the days of old? Why don't you stand as the representative of God on this earth, have a spiritual influence over the affairs of people's lives, over the vulnerable, over the helpless, over the needy, in the name of Jesus, jobs that have been lost, Father Lord, be comfort, be the breakthrough for many people, Father, debts that have been accrued as a matter of COVID, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, why don't you restore, why don't you restore, why don't you restore the light, no God, that the locust of Eden, that which the locust of Eden, in the name of Jesus, you are the restorer, Father, you are our restorer, in the name of Jesus, 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 we continue to pray right this moment in time. The Bible tells us that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. The one thing that the blood of Jesus does is it washes away sin as white as snow. Even if your, 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 your blood is as red as crimson. The Bible tells us that the blood of Jesus purifies our conscience from dead works. For that reason, the blood of Jesus that we are covering the globe with this very time is that which would save many that are out there. And so right this moment in time, we're taking advantage of this covered program to pray into the salvation of many. That the Lord himself will be a salvation to many. That the Lord will draw men through this pandemic. That the, the, the kingdom will have a harvest as a result of this pandemic. We will see lives grasped. From, 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 from the camp of the enemy, from the camp of hell. Move from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Wherever you are, why don't you pray into the soul snatching? Why don't you pray into salvation for many that are lost to be grabbed, that are lost to be moved towards the kingdom of God? That names will be written in the book of life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your blood cover sin. Let it cover sin. Let it cover sin. In the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a washing, let there be a purification as a result of your blood, your blood that was shed on Calvary. Your blood is limitless, O oh God. Your blood is able to wash the sins of any, O oh God. Wherever the circumstances, wherever the sins they've committed, wherever 
Wherever there is transgression, wherever there is iniquity, your blood is able to cover, O God, to wash, O God, to sanctify, to purify, in the name of Jesus, 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 your blood is a covering, your blood grabs, your blood washes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak into souls, we speak into the affairs of the glory, and we say through this moment, oh God, let your power be felt in salvation, let many come to the salvation that we have come to see, in the name of Jesus, 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 you are able to do abundantly and exceedingly what we have been for oh God, for that reason we stand before you are God, praying that salvation will be experienced in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, when we call on our God, the one thing that he does is answer, for that reason he encourages us to ask, to seek and to knock. For that reason, we are knocking on heaven's door this very evening or afternoon. And we're praying that the great deliverance of God will be felt on this earth. Many people are experiencing the lowest times of their life as a result of this pandemic. This pandemic has caused pain. It's caused suffering to many people. We're praying that our Lord will have mercy. Amen. That our God will bring a deliverance. That God will claw us from death. That the death toll would completely be wiped away. That people will be healthy again. That people will be economical again. That the Lord's hands will be experienced. That mercy will be poured on the affairs of the earth. Why don't you pray right now on behalf of the world. For the deliverance of people. The deliverance of people. The deliverance of people. From the hands of this pandemic. Wherever you are in the world right now. Why don't you pray for the deliverance of God's people. The deliverance of the lost. Whether they know Jesus or not. This can even be a pathway to know in Jesus. We're praying for mercy. We know our God is compassionate. He is able to save us. He is able to deliver us. Deliver us from illness. Deliver us from ailments and infirmities. He is able to deliver us. He is able to deliver us. No pandemic is bigger than our God. We pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord himself will deliver his people from COVID-19. That the Lord will deliver from COVID-19 that the Lord will deliver from COVID-19 in the name of Jesus 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 Maso Kotorianda, Mashaka Tanda Yaba, Mosho Yande Bekinde, Mosho Kotono Mashinde, Masaka Tanda Bashinianda, Messenger Tende Mashinde, Makapa Sengwe Yaba, Meshika Tende Yaba, Lapa Shanda Yaba Soko Tori, Maria de Bakende, Masho Doriana Mashinde, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, deliver us, O God. Deliver us, O God. Deliver us, O God. Deliver us, O God. Deliver your people. The great deliverance is our Lord. Just like the Israelites, O God, escaped from Egypt through the Red Sea, O God. Let there be a great exodus in the name of Jesus. Let there be a great exodus. In the name of Jesus, let there be a great exodus. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy and your compassion, you felt in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, brothers and sisters, I want to assure you that heaven hears our prayer. And so, even as we pray.
prayed, we already know that heaven has responded to our call. So right this minute, wherever you are, I want you to offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, a sacrifice of praise for an answered prayer. For an answered prayer. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. That each time we call on your name, you hear your people. We call on you, O God, and you hear us each and every time. And you hear us each and every time. And you hear us each and every time. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you have had mercy and you have responded with favor to our prayer request. We want to thank you in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to ask my wife, Mrs. Dr. Squatchy, just to sum up our prayer right this moment in time. Our gracious God, we want to thank you. We want to give you all the praise and honour that is due to your name. Father Lord, when we look up to the hills, where does our help come from? Yes, our help comes from the Lord, Amen. the maker of heaven and earth. Right, Father Lord. Lord, your children are before you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father Lord, all mankind is before yes, you. Lord. Across the globe, we are before you, yes, Lord. Lord. And we are crying unto you, Abba Father, Lord. Mm -hmm. We're saying, Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Father, Father, have Lord. compassion. Have Father, mercy. be gracious Jesus. unto us. Be Father Lord, Lord, keep us under your wings, Lord. Amen. Father, Lord, our Father, Lord, we stand on behalf of Pence and UK yes, and we reach across the globe, Lord. Amen. We pray for every individual yes, in the church and otherwise yes, that your mighty blood your will blood. cover us in the name of yes, Jesus. Jesus, will wash us in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. will cover us in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. will protect us. In the name of Jesus, yes, who Jesus keep us name. under your shadow in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. That Father Lord, that blood, Jesus, your word tells us that by your stripes we are healed. Yes, Father, we, we pray for healing of the world, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Jesus. We pray for healing of the world, Jesus. Yes, that your blood, Father Lord, 2,000 plus years, will keep speaking that better message. Yes, will Lord, keep Jesus. healing, Jesus. Yes, will keep saving lives, Jesus. Yes, we pray for your mighty spirit, O oh Lord, mm. to hover over the earth, yes, even Lord. as when you created the earth, Jesus. You your spirit was hovering over the waters. Father Lord, we are praying that your spirit will continue to hover over us in the name of Jesus. Mm. We pray for those whose lives are affected, those who have lost jobs, those who have lost family members. Father Lord, raise your mighty raise hand your and hand come to our aid, Jesus. Yes, Lord, All you Jesus. need to do is lift a finger, Lord, yeah. because we know that you are mighty God. Are mighty. We know that you are powerful yes, God. Lord. We know that, Father Lord, when you speak, things begin to happen, yes, Lord. Lord. Father, command it and it will happen, Lord. Yes, Lord. We rely on your power, Jesus. Yes, we rely on your strength jesus mm. we rely on your authority jesus mm. father lord you are a hope to the hopeless yes, father you are mother and father to the fatherless yeah. father lord we know that you will come to our aid this day yes, we commit ourselves into your care lord we are praying jesus that covid 19 father lord will draw your souls onto you jesus yeah. that the whole world will know that you are our only hope our only that hope. you are the hope of salvation yes, that you are indeed the light of the world mm. and that through this many souls far and near will come to the saving yes, knowledge Lord. of Christ Jesus. Mm. We commit ourselves into your hands, Lord. And even as we are doing this global prayer chain, Father Lord, you will connect us in your blood. Yes, you will Lord. connect us in your spirit. Yes, you will Lord. connect us with one heart and one mind, Lord. Yes, that as we pray, Jesus, you will heal our land. You will yes, hear Lord. our prayer and you will heal the world. Yes, Father Lord, we know that you have done it because you are mighty God, because you are faithful God, mm. who has ever put their trust in you and have been put to shame. Mm. No one can ever say this, Lord. And if if indeed, Lord, if it wasn't you by our side, then let Israel say, Father Lord, we give you all the glory. Yeah. We give you all the praise. Mm. We offer a prayer of thanksgiving to you today because mm. we know that you have done it and mm. we know that you have heard our prayer. Mm. This is what we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. 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 Thank you and God bless you for joining us. On the table, check that they're not texting or something. It's on the table, I'll say. Who?
God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, may he crown you wherever you are with the oil of gladness. May he sustain you with his righteous right hand and cause you to be a victor covered by the blood of Jesus until time is no more. Be covered now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. The globe is just going to be covered through our prayer and our worship. So wherever you are all over the world, join Pencil International. Let us lift a hand of prayer and sing loud wherever we are and see God move around the globe. We are praying from Australia all around the Americas, around the world, and covering the globe with the blood of Jesus. Come in. Come up to where you are.
for your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. Yeah. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We honor you. You are worthy to be praised. You deserve our worship. You deserve the adoration and our praises. We humble ourselves in your presence and we say, Hallowed be thy name. You are great and greatly to be praised. And we lift up our voices and we worship you, O oh God.
bless your name, Jehovah. Strong and mighty are you, Lord. Great in battle, oh God. You specialize in the impossible. And we bless your name. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory to God. Blessed be his name forever. We're going to say when we remember what he has done for us. We will never go back to who we were. We will never go back to our old ways, but we will press forward to what lies ahead. Hallelujah. to a standstill. Tears, sorrows, and fear. But there is good news. The blood of Jesus shall cover the globe and the power of the blood shall cover us from COVID. Get COVID now! The global coordinating team of Pencil International invites you to COVID 20, a 14-hour global prayer marathon from the cool of the day in Australia to the same in the North Americas. The date is 23rd May 2020, 7 p.m. Australian time and 9 o'clock GMT. Join Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, Apostle Emmanuel J.C. Addo, the International Missions Director, Pastor Ebenezer Hagan, the Youth Director of the Church of Pentecost, and Elder Dr. Patrick Adenu, Pensa International Coordinator, and all the young people in the Church of Pentecost and beyond to cry unto God. The artists from the Holy Ghost Church Bill are Elder Dr. Aquisimriku, Ghana, Diana Entry Hamilton, UK, in Tokoso, South Africa, Joe Mattel, Ghana, John Angle, Germany, Damien, France, Michael Benson, Australia, Ken George Aqua, Canada, Yao Osei Osu, USA, Edward Matthew, India, Hadassah Yang, 
China, Emmanuel Smith, UK, and Alex Nuzbupe, Russia. Please join the marathon wherever you are via the Pensa International Facebook and Instagram account and get covered. Covered 2020. Receive and be partakers of this COVID-20 encounter. We are talking about the blood of Jesus, which is able to cover us and prevent us or save us from being infected with COVID-19. Beloved, you are welcome. This is COVID-20 brought to you by Pensa International. And at this moment, it is the African bloc that is going to lead uh, sessions of prayer and worship. Very soon, we will receive Apostle Nathaniel Ajayi, who will lead us to pray. Apostle Ajayi is the national head of the Church of Pentecost in Nigeria. Once he is done, Pastor Femi Babatunde will continue. He also lead us to pray. Stay with us. Let's move together because we are all covered. Apostle, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. We want to thank God uh, for this privilege given to us, even to come and pray. Uh, we thank God for using the uh, youth at this particular time around. Also, thank our executive, the chairman, and co for the privilege given to us to come in. Time is not on our side. Uh, we are taking a reading from John chapter 1, uh, verse 5. John chapter 1, verse 5. So the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome its Amen. Amen. That is, first of all, the privilege that Jesus has given to us uh, that we are the children of light. And as a children of light, darkness will never overcome you in Jesus' name. Amen. And Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16 also reads like this. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a wall. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light and to the children of light in the house. Verse 16 says, in the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. 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 I go not sit right under the blood. Oh, I go not sit right under the blood. Oh, I go not sit right under the blood. Hallelujah, and the blood will come to me no more. Light 
of the gospel will shine in all its brilliance to dispel any darkness during and after COVID-19. Uh, so even John chapter 8 verse 12 tells us that Christ is the uh, light and he who follows him uh, does not walk in darkness, but he will have the light of life. And on this point, we are going to pray. Any power of darkness that is woven over the world causing pandemic at this particular moment, as the children of the light, we have authority that we inherit from our Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to pray to nullify all those power and bring everything to naught. Shall we pray in this direction? I'm 
All right, thank you very much, um, Apostle. We are grateful for the opportunity. Um, and, we, and we thank you for spending time with us. We believe in the prayers that we have said. Now, to continue the prayers, we want to welcome Pastor Femi Babatunde, who is the National Youth Leader for Nigeria. Pastor, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Praise God. Hallelujah. Am I on? session of prayer and want to thank God for the various leaders that had led us in a very, a very powerful prayer session. By the grace of God, we are also going to lead another section of prayer and we want to call everyone to join us even as we do so. Um, at this time, we want to pray for the Lordship of Jesus Christ to take all over the globe. And before we do that, I want to quote from John chapter 5, uh, John chapter 1, uh, from verse uh, 1 to 5. John chapter 1, from verse 1 to 5. I'm reading from the New King James Version. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. And verse 5, where we are going to be dwelling on, says, And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are talking about Jesus Christ, who is 
the light that has come to shine to every darkness that has taken over the world. This time we want to raise up prayer wherever you are. I want us to raise up your voice as you are going to pray that every darkness will be over any part of the world that the Lord will cause his light to shine and cause his light to shine into every facet of the globe in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have around the good, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that this light will shine. Father, we declare that this light will shine by your grace and by your mind. It will shine to every part of the world, in the name of Jesus. Where your word, where, where, where that message, where that message begins to take over the world, we are praying that as your word declares that your touch Lord will shine into every part of the world in the name of Jesus into Asia into America into Europe that this light will shine in the name of Jesus Lord will shut the hand of the Lord who are in the level we will shut the hand of the Lord who are in the level we will shut the hand of the Lord who are in the level we will shut the hand of the Lord who are in the level we will shut the hand of the Lord who are in the level we will shut the hand of the Lord in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. 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 Just be dispelled. May darkness be dispelled. May darkness be dispelled. May darkness be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. May darkness be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. May darkness be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. May darkness be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. May darkness be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. May darkness be dispelled. In the name of Jesus. Shine on me, bright morning star. Shine on me, my closest friend. Shine on me, Jesus. Hallelujah, shine on me, bright morning star, shine on me, oh, my closest friend, shine on me, Jesus, an account in Genesis chapter 1 verse 4 the Bible says and God saw the light that, that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness and verse 5 says God called the light day and the darkness he called it night listen after the earth had been taken over by darkness the Bible says and God came and said let there be light and there was light there was no place that darkness could come and empower again why because god has commanded it today and now i want us to lift up our voice and declare light into asia light into america light into europe light into africa light into the whole part of the earth shall we begin to declare in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we declare that light will begin to shine even as your word has declared father we pray we pray we pray we declare and we declare that light will shine in asia in all the countries that make asia light will shine in europe and all the countries that make europe light will shine over america 
The Lord will begin to work on such hearts. In Africa, the Lord will begin to work on such hearts. People who have decided to do bad, take opportunity of the darkness to, 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 to cause havoc and to cause problems. We are declaring that that light will begin to shine on their hearts in the name of Jesus. Shall we will lift up our voice and begin to pray and begin to pray. Begin to save them, O Lord. Begin to save them, O Lord. Begin to smack them out of the pit of hell. Begin to smack them out of the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we cause them to be trapped out of the hands of the enemies. We cause them to be trapped out of the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Let that be of you, Lord. Let that be of you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so, Father, we are declaring light in Africa. We are declaring light in Asia. We are declaring light in America. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too, Pastor. Amen. If I see the blood, I will pass over you. Exodus 12, 13. It's carbon 20. Oh, yeah. Carbon 20. Yes. COVID 19 has. You've known the voice, the testimonies, and the mighty move of God. For decades of sacred music and spiritual tunes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the legendary Elder Dr. Emmanuel Kwesi Mreku. 
be wagging it. Jesus, I will 
in the coming days, hallelujah. Um, the, one of the core aims of Pensa International is to bring the message of salvation to every person on earth who is yet to make a decision for Christ. And I think that um, this COVID-19 season has given us a blessing of tasting how um, helpless human beings can become in the midst of adversity. We have had a, a first-hand taste of human helplessness. At the peak of scientific and technological breakthrough, human beings have tasted what it is like to come to our wit's end, to, to have a hunger that will call for something beyond the physical, something beyond the material, something beyond our capacities. Our need for God has been stayed. And I think that every human being around the world has experienced this. What an awesome time we have had today. I believe with all my heart that the Lord in heaven has heard us and we are going to see awesome things. Now, um, I want to quickly share with you the need for you who are listening to us. I know that many people have logged on and are watching us, are joining us from different backgrounds. If you have not as yet given your life to Jesus Christ, that is the greatest mistake any human being can make whilst living on this earth. If you are living and you haven't given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. When we read John chapter 10, verse 10 to 11, these are the words of Jesus. And I want to bring you these words from the heart of Jesus, even as we pray for healing. The healing we are praying for is not only the physical healing of um, COVID-19, but I believe that it is also an opportunity for you to reflect on your deeper needs of spiritual um, healing from the power of sin. The Bible says that the thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Here, Jesus brings a distinction between himself and the thief. And we can see that coronavirus is such a thief. Coronavirus has stolen um, lives from us. Coronavirus has stolen the lives of our dear family members and friends. Coronavirus has stolen our time, interrupted education, you know, interrupted businesses, our freedom, our health, our ability to move up and down. This is such a thief, you know. And um, we can compare the effect that COVID-19 has had on us to the deeper problem of humanity, which is the condition of sin that's pressed through our bloodline. You know, sin that's pressed through our bloodline. Even as we have prayed and we know God is going to heal us of um, uh, SARS-2 and COVID-19, I also pray that you take advantage of this season to reflect on your deepest need, which is your need for salvation. And as, as you reflect on um, these things, know that it is only Jesus who came 
that we might have life and have it to the full. Pensa International has been commissioned to bring the gospel to everyone who is yet to receive salvation. Let me remind you that um, the final punishment for sin and for those who do not accept Jesus Christ is the lake of fire. Now that is by far more distressing than all the troubles we've gone through this period of coronavirus. And Jesus who loves us wants to save us from that, that distress and that trouble of being destroyed eternally in hell. And that is why he has come to give life and cause us to have life to the full. I distress, went through pain, went through frustration in his process of coming to save us. He knows what it is to be under a period of distress. He knows what it is to go through pain. And um, a year before Philip Bliss died in Ohio, this is in 19, um, in 1875, he wrote the hymn, uh, Man of Sorrows, what a name. The son of God who came, ruined sinners to reclaim. Hallelujah, what a savior. Jesus is the one who paid for the punishment and the distress that we should have gone through. And I tell you that there is no good news in this life outside of Jesus. This period has shown us how the powerful can become helpless. And I want to um, draw your attention, my dear friend who is listening to me, that if you have not as yet given your life to Christ, this is a time to reach out to him because he is the only hope of the world. I pray that even as God responds and swiftly sweeps away COVID-19 from the surface of the earth in the coming days and weeks, may you also swiftly respond to him and give your life to Christ so that beyond this season, the effect of sin would no longer hold you. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, that salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that it has been given to mankind by which they must be saved. You don't need monies. You don't need cars. You don't need degrees. This season has taught us that all the things we for, and that this stress, they become valueless. It is only Jesus and eternal life that you must crave for. Let me remind you that the greatest mistake you can ever make is to die without Jesus Christ as your savior. I pray that you will take a decision for the Lord Jesus, even as we worship and pray to him. May you also commit your truest need, which is your need for eternal life. May you commit it to him in this season, knowing that he has opened his arms to receive anyone who has not yet accepted Jesus as his Lord and his savior. May the Lord touch you and be with you. We have provided numbers and contacts that you can reach out to. Make sure that you are contacting us so that we can continue this discussion with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may God heal the nations of the world. And may God bring us relief in this season of distress. God richly bless you. Amen. Amen. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. Hi, Pentacles International. I hope that you're blessed so far. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come your way today. Listen, we're going to be worshiping with you and honoring God together with you. So I hope you don't log out, stay online, and let's fellowship and honor God together. God bless you and stay blessed. 
Say yes, um, yeah, me, yeah. yes, um, yeah, me, yeah. oh, you are oh, when so be be a run soon, yeah. Soon. No, yeah. Sing on, no, no, casa. no, no, casa. I think you know, from any you now, be be a run soon, yeah. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. So they can come and say, Sing, yes, sum, yum, 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 Your voice wherever you are tonight with us. What see you chance any fun? One more time, come on, say now. Oh, you are when you're. He's a faithful God. He's a wonderful God. Oh, you are when me. Oh, wow, when me. Oh, wow, when me. Oh, wow, when me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sing, oh, you are when me. What a man I see. Won't you not met in a da? Mira Jesus, so minza. Fama na mosisi. The family see. What a man I see. Family see. One of my favorite scriptures, Psalm 91, it says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He says, Then I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. 
na pharmacy eh what about it's won't and i met in a da mira jesus ominsa famana mosisie pharmacy eh what about na si pharmacy eh pharmacy Listen, the Lord is hiding you. What a banasi, famisie, famisie, famisie. What a bana in your secret place, where I'll be safe, and in your presence, Lord. I'll be secured and let no harm befall me and no weapon formed against me prosper hide me in the shadow of your wings that's what the lord is doing for you tonight listen in your secret place where i'll be safe safe from my enemies in your presence lord i'll be secured and let no harm befall me i don't know whose message this is tonight and no weapon formed against you prosper he will hide you hide me in the shadow of your wings hide me in the shadow of he said a thousand will fall on your side ten thousand at your right side it shall not come nigh their dwelling but only with your eyes would you behold and see the reward of the wicked the lord is keeping you the lord is preserving you i don't know who you are and what you're going through but I brought a message to you that he that has called you is faithful. He will keep you. He will preserve you. He will protect you. He will shield you. Hide me in the shadow. Shatter off your wings. Let me stay safe under your wings. Hide as Jesus. Hide as Jesus. Hide as Jesus. Hide as Jesus. May we be hidden under your wings. Oh, hide me. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Hide me in the shadow. Father, we bless your name. There is none like you and there is none that we can compare to you. You are our shield, you are our defender, you are our buckler. You are our hope. You are a shelter, a healer. Lord, I don't know who is sick at this moment watching us. I don't know who is sick at the moment and watching us. But in the name that is above every other name, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. You send forth your word to heal and deliver us. And therefore we pray in the name of Jesus that tonight every sick body, we call for the healing to that body in the name of Jesus. Be a healer. We thank you, Father. We exalt your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 What's up? Yeah. 
your good Kaniti Oh and Shira Kaniti and Shira Nobody, nobody. 
to me. I don't know about you, but I know he's everything to you too. If you believe it, can you lift your hands with me? To the left and to the right. Hey, to the left, wave it. To the right. Come on, clap your hands with me. Everybody say, hey. You can dance to the Lord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say, how can I for all the Saying, how can I For all the things you've done for me How can I All the things you've done for me How can I express my gratitude Say, for all the many things
Se voy a mi guan, copia one, two, eh. Hallelujah. The Lord is moving. The Lord is moving. The Lord we will right from the morning. Depuis ce matin, we have seen that the Lord is moving all around the globe. Nous voyons que le Seigneur œuvre partout dans le monde. And our prayer and our worship et notre prière et notre adoration est en train of God. de changer oh, les hallelujah, choses. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Gloire à Dieu. Gloire Praise à Dieu. The Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Covered. Oh, hallelujah. Covered. Couvert. I want to hear your response there. Covered. Couvert. Yes, we are covered over COVID-19. 
Nous sommes couverts contre le Covid-19. Et Jésus est glorifié lui-même. Gloire à Dieu. Tonight we are excited and we are blessed. Ce matin, nous sommes très contents et and nous right sommes bénis. Accra, et ici, de la ville d'Accra, nous venons de chez vous. Our dear daddy, et nous avons notre papa, the chairman of the church of Pentecost, le président de l'église de Pentecôte, l'apôtre Eric Niamecher, oh, yeah, qui est parmi nous. Gloire à Come Dieu. On, put your hands together Applaudissons you are, le Seigneur as we partout daddy, où vous soyez. The chairman alors of the que church nous of Pentecost, recevons your life will never, never, never be le président de l'église de Pentecôte, votre vie Jesus. ne sera jamais oh, la même. Come on, keep your hands for the Lord Applaudissons Jesus. le Seigneur. Applaudissons le Seigneur. Praise the Lord to everyone. Gloire à Dieu à tout le monde. I'm excited to be part of this program today. Je suis très heureux de faire partir de young, faire partie de ce programme aujourd'hui. Young people covering the world with the blood of Jesus in this pandemic. Et les jeunes qui couvrent le monde avec le sang de Jésus dans cette pandémie. Young people covering our world with prayer in this pandemic. Les jeunes qui couvrent le monde avec la prière pendant young cette pandémie. Young people covering our world with the word of God in this pandemic. Les jeunes qui couvrent le monde avec la parole de Dieu pendant cette pandémie. You are our future. Vous êtes notre avenir. You are strength. Vous êtes notre force. I know that when you arise, Et je sais que lorsque vous vous levez, we will possess the nations without sweat. nous allons posséder les, les nations sans sueur. Let me just take opportunity to thank the national heads for your support to Pensa International so far as this program is concerned. Et donc j'aimerais prendre saisir l'occasion et remercier les dirigeants nationaux pour votre soutien au, au groupe de Pensa pendant ce, tout au long de cette euh, pro, ce programme. Now, Pensa International is a movement that is organizing young people across the globe. For kingdom impact. Et donc Pensa International est un mouvement qui organise les jeunes partout dans le monde pour un impact pour le royaume de Dieu. This movement seeks to redefine ministry. Et donc ce mouvement cherche à redéfinir ce qui est le ministère. That ministry is not the preserve of the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors. No, that ministry belongs to all, especially the young people. Et donc le ministère n'est pas seulement réservé pour les apôtres les pasteurs mais c'est pour tout le monde et surtout les jeunes Pensa international is saying that everyone should see the his fear and see it as an opportunity for ministry whatever you do and wherever you are it is your space for ministry et donc Pensa International est en train de dire que peu importe là où vous vous trouvez saisissez l'occasion et faites votre ministère that every young person Every lady, every gentleman should avail himself for God to use as a channel of blessing unto humanity. Et donc toute jeune personne que vous soyez une jeune fille, un jeune homme, euh, permettez à ce que le Seigneur puisse vous utiliser pour l'humanité. That God's love will flow through you to meet needs answer questions and solve problems. Et donc pour que l'amour de Dieu puisse euh, jaillir en vous pour euh, accéder ou bien gérer les problèmes et subvenir aux besoins des autres. Pensa International is seeking young people who will be the Daniels of our generation. Et donc Pensa International cherche les jeunes qui vont être les Daniels de notre génération. The Josephs of our time. Les Joseph de notre génération. We want we want Moses this is the deliverers of our world. Nous recherchons les Moïse de notre monde, ceux qui vont délivrer ce monde. Pensa International is seeking young people who are going to be the Wesleys and the Luthers who are going to bring social transformation on our land. Et donc Pensa International cherche ceux qui vont être les Wesley et les Luthers qui vont amener la transformation sur notre terre. Pensa International seeks to raise the Ravi Zacharias and the Billy Grahams who will take the gospel across the globe and I want you to be one of them. 
Et donc, Pensa International est en train d'élever les jeunes qui vont être les Ravi Zacharias ainsi que les Billy Graham qui vont euh, propager la parole de Dieu partout dans le monde. Et donc, des personnes qui ne vont pas aimer leur vie jusqu'à la mort. But Paul is to make a difference in this world. Mais qui cherchent à avoir un effet ou bien à faire la différence dans With ce the monde. Principles and lifestyle of the kingdom of God. Avec les principes et le style de vie du royaume de Dieu. Remember guys that you have only one life to live and don't use it as an experiment. Et donc les jeunes, rappelez-vous, vous avez une seule vie et il ne faut pas que ça soit une une expérimentation. Let your life count. Il faut que votre vie compte Let pour quelque chose. Let your life count. Votre vie doit compter pour live quelque chose. A better world. Et donc laissez derrière vous un meilleur monde. Then you came to meet it. Un meilleur que ce que vous, a, vous êtes venu trouver. Not be for yourself and your family. La, votre vie ne doit pas être seule pour vous et votre famille. Tell God to extend your territory of influence. Et donc demandez à Dieu d'étendre votre sphère d'influence. That through you many will be saved. Afin qu'à travers vous beaucoup soient transformés. Don't waste your youthful period. Ne gaspillez pas votre jeune votre vie de jeune. Let it count. Que ça compte pour quelque chose. Your energy Il faut rediriger votre to, énergie to push the kingdom of pour God. faire avancer le royaume This de Dieu. Pensa International seeks to do. Voici le but et l'objectif de Pensa International. Mobilizing global force for kingdom impact. Et donc le fait de mobiliser une force globale pour avoir un impact. We need to impact our dans world. Le royaume. Et donc nous devons impacter notre monde. The principles of the kingdom of Avec God. les principes du royaume de Dieu. And we need to snatch sinners from hell. Et nous devons arracher les pécheurs du, du de l'enfer. Jude, the brother of Jesus. Et donc Jude le frère de Jésus. Wrote in a small book. A écrit dans son petit With livre. A chapter qui a un seul chapitre. So I'll read verse 23. Et donc je lis le verset 23. Jude 23. Jude 23. Save others by snatching them from fire. Il dit sauvez-en d'autres en les arrachant to du others, feu. Show mercy. Et pour d'autres personnes ayez une pitié. Mixed with fear. Mêlé de crainte. Hating even the clothing stained by corrupted Flesh. Aïssons jusqu'à la tunique souillée par la chair. Jude is saying that we need to save people from fire. Et donc Jude dit que nous devons arracher les gens du to feu. To snatch someone from fire simply means that there is some element of risk. Et donc le fait d'arracher quelqu'un du feu veut dire que il y a un élément de risque. He is saying that the sinners that we are supposed to save. They are wearing a garment corrupted by flesh. Il dit que les gens que nous devons arracher du feu sont couverts par une tunique qui est souillée par le, le la chair. We should hate that garment so that we are not corrupted by their corruption. Et donc il dit nous devons haïr cette tunique pour ne pas être corrompus comme eux. What, what he is trying to tell us that as we want as we have to hate hate sin we still have to love the sinner and pluck the sinner from Et donc hell. en même temps alors que nous devons haïr le péché nous devons tout de même aimer le pécheur et le, le l'arracher du feu Jude is calling the Christian community to hold fast to what we have received and contend for the faith Et donc Jude est en train de dire à la communauté chrétienne de tenir ferme ce que nous avons reçu et nous battre pour so la foi We need not just glory in the salvation that we have received we have to firmly hold it Et donc nous devons pas seulement nous nous jouir de ce salut que nous avons reçu nous devons tenir fermement à ce salut Defend it vehemently Et le défendre avec toute notre force and proclaim it passionately and fearlessly et le proclame 19 this novel va, uh, virus arrives on this planet Earth just last year et donc ce virus est arrivé sur la planète terre juste l'année dernière we have sunk all that we can in terms of money into saving people from dying of covid-19 et donc nous avons investi beaucoup d'argent pour empêcher les gens de, de mourir de cette maladie the world is scared of this virus et le monde a peur de ce virus because it has no known cure parce que il n'y a 
pas de médicaments contre ce virus. Il n'y a pas de vaccin contre ce virus capable de nous sauver de ce COVID-19. Nations and government and the World Health Organization and other institutions and individuals, in fact, all of us are being called on board to help Stop the spread of COVID-19. Et donc, euh, euh, les nations, les gouvernements, ainsi que l'OMS, et tout le monde est appelé à aider dans ce, cette bataille contre le COVID-19. Et donc, les gens le décrivent comme l'ennemi invisible. Trillions of dollars have been spent Beaucoup de dollars ont été investis pour arrêter l'avancement de ce virus. For the fear of being infected by this virus, we have been given a whole lot of protocols to, to follow. Et donc pour empêcher les autres d'attraper ce virus, nous avons reçu beaucoup de protocoles à suivre. In as much as we want to applaud nations and governments and individuals for the support that they have lent to humanity in preventing us from this covid, I want you to know that if we don't die from covid-19 you would die anyway et donc de la manière peu importe le fait euh, de, de remercier donc en même temps que nous remercions les gouvernements et tout le monde qui aide à empêcher l'avancement du virus sachez que si vous ne mourrez pas du covid-19 vous allez mourir d'autre chose Jude is saying that let us snatch people from hell et donc Jude est en train de dire que arracher des gens du feu. In Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Et donc dans Romains chapitre 5 le verset 12. Voici ce que la Bible Now, dit. Remember that COVID-19 arrived last year. Et 2019. puis rappelez-vous que le COVID-19 est arrivé l'année dernière euh, 2019. But Romans 12 5 verse 12 reads. Mais Romains chapitre 5 le verset 12 nous dit Therefore just as sin entered the world through one man. C'est pourquoi comme par un seul homme le péché est entré dans le monde. And death through sin. Et par le péché la mort. In this way death came upon all people. Et qu'ainsi la mort s'est étendue sur tous les hommes. Because all sin. Parce que tous ont péché. Death Sin came into this earth. Et donc le péché est entré dans le monde. Through one man. À travers un seul homme. Sin entered the world. À travers un seul homme, And le then, péché est entré dans le monde. Death, death followed. Et la mort a suivi. And the Bible said death affected all men. Et la Bible nous dit que la mort a touché tout le monde. Because all sin. Parce que tous ont péché. May I ask you when sin entered the world? Est-ce que je peux vous je peux vous poser la question quand est-ce que le péché est rentré dans sure le monde? 2019. Je ne pense pas que vous allez dire en 2019. Sin has entered the world. Mais le péché a tout de même entré dans le Spreading monde. And killing people. En train de s'étendre partout dans le monde et tuer beaucoup de But personnes. But the world is not tackling the issue of sin with that agency that we are tackling COVID-19. Mais le monde n'attaque pas le péché avec l'urgence que nous attaquons le Covid-19. Et donc le frère de Jésus nous appelle to mobilize forces and energy to snatch people from hell. De mobiliser les gens et avoir la force pour arracher les gens du feu. When you don't die of Covid-19, si let me repeat that. J'aimerais répéter ceci, si vous ne mourrez pas du Covid-19, you are going to die anyway. Vous allez mourir peu importe. And then anyone who dies without Jesus Christ. Et toute Personne qui meurt sans Jésus-Christ à cause du péché will die and go to hell. va mourir et entrer en enfer. It is that hell fire, the one what is described as the second death that Jude is saying that we Christians, young people, Pensa International, to snatch them from hell. Et donc c'est cette deuxième mort, c'est de cette deuxième mort que Jude parle en disant que nous les jeunes Pensa International arracher les gens du feu. May I encourage you. Et donc j'aimerais vous encourager. That you let us take learn something from the energy and the spirit with which the world is combating COVID-19. Et donc apprenons quelque chose de cette énergie avec laquelle le monde se bat contre le Covid-19. Let us transfer the same energy and the same seriousness in battling against sin and releasing people from hell. Et donc mettons cette même énergie dans notre combat contre le péché et le fait d'arracher les gens du feu. It is said that Lazarus the friend of Jesus when you go to when you went to his tomb 
This is what is written on the et donc voici ce qu'ils disent de Lazare, l'ami de Jésus. Voici ce qui est écrit sur sa tombe. Lazarus, the friend of Jesus, twice dead. Et donc Lazare, l'ami de Jésus, mort deux fois. Lazarus died, and Jesus raised him from the dead. Et donc Lazare est décédé et Jésus l'a ressuscité des morts. So, even if Jesus raises you from the dead, you die. You die anyway. Et donc, même si Jésus vous ressuscite des morts, vous allez mourir encore. So when Lazarus died the second time, Jesus was gone. Et donc, lorsque Lazare est décédé la deuxième fois, Jésus était déjà parti. That is why they wrote on his tomb. Voici la raison pour laquelle ils ont écrit sur Lazarus, sa tombe. The friend of Jesus. Lazare, l'ami de Jésus. Twice dead. Mort deux fois. Twice dead. Mort deux fois. Now, if he, he was not a Christian, Et donc, si il n'était pas un chrétien, he was going to die the third time. Il allait mourir une troisième fois. That is why Jude is saying, let us snatch people from hellfire. C'est la raison pour laquelle Jude nous dit que nous devons arracher les gens And du I want feu. To say that let us do it before seriousness. Et j'aimerais ajouter que nous devons le faire avec tout le sérieux. Even the garments stained with corruption. Nous devons haïr jusqu'à la tunique qui est souillée par la corruption, I want par to la chair. You that you are also a front liner. Et j'aimerais vous rappeler que vous êtes aussi un personnel de so santé. people from hell is concerned. En ce qui concerne le fait d'arracher les gens du we feu. We also need to wear, put on our PPEs. Nous devons mettre notre équipe, nos équipements de protection. Our spiritual PPEs. Nos équipements de protection spirituelle. Because we need not a allow sin to contaminate us but we have to love the sinner and snatch the sinner from hell parce que nous ne devons pas permettre au péché de nous contaminer mais nous devons aimer le pécheur et l'arracher du feu may i encourage pensa international et donc j'encourage pensa international to go after the sin anywhere that they can be found de poursuivre le péché partout où vous allez le trouver on our campuses let's cover the place with the blood of jesus and with the gospel of jesus christ dans les écoles Ouvrons euh, les, les lieux du son de Jésus et de l'évangile. At our workplaces, let us cover the place with the blood and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Et donc dans nos lieux de travail, couvrons ces endroits avec le feu, le son et on la the, parole de on Dieu. On the streets and the marketplaces, let us snatch people from hell. Dans les rues, dans le marché, arrachons les gens du feu. If the world is praising frontline workers in this COVID pandemic, oh. How will heaven praise those who snatch souls from hell? Et donc si le monde est en train de louer faire les les loges des médecins qui sont en train de euh, gérer les patients infectés par le Covid-19, combien même les anges vont-ils célébrer ceux qui vont arracher les autres du feu? Yeah, young people, I came to encourage you to arise and the glory of the Lord will rise over you Et and donc, give you the strength to snatch people from hell. Et donc chers jeunes, je suis venu pour vous encourager de vous lever et éclairer afin que le Seigneur puisse briller sur vous et vous aider à arracher les gens du God feu. Be you, and may you build your cabode as you roll and keep on rolling and then going out there and snatching people from hell. God be with you and may God bless you. Et donc que le Seigneur soit avec vous alors que vous sortez et que vous vous faites grandir votre Cabode, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Wherever you are, want us to rise in prayer. Et donc, peu importe là où vous vous trouvez, j'aimerais que vous vous levez. Let us pray that God will help us save nous and snatch people from hell. Que le Seigneur nous aide à arracher les gens du feu. Prions, prions. Rabo ten de basan da rabo ten. Rabe son de 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 rabo na. Ay an da basan da 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 rabo de 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 babi. Birianda da ba sunde Shibo la pakayanda Oh
The Lord God Almighty lays his hand on you. The Lord is telling you your life must count in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Offer yourself tonight. Maronde kizin pikoro. Ama manda mayande ne me kolobotiria. Rebo ne me kabaria. Oh God, amanda masura bahaye. Kera banda masine me ka. Lord, we receive your word in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that you have covered us, that through us others will be covered. You have saved us, that through us others will be saved. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are on a rescue mission to go and rescue, to go and save, to go and deliver. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are the kingdom fighters. Amanda Barone, release of God on kingdom's mission. Messiah, we are going to live once, and we don't want to take it for a joke. We are going to live once, and we don't want to waste it. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, come on, open your mouth. Come on, talk to the Lord. Come on, talk to the Lord. Say, oh God, I avail myself. Oh God, I receive the chat. Oh God, I respond to the call. In the name of Jesus, a nation of transformation, I will become from tonight. I will take over from tonight. I will take over wherever I am, every space, everywhere. In the name of Jesus, I am the king of man. I am the... In the name of Jesus, not the fathers again, but you, you, this is your time. This is your generation. This is our time. Aranda Baboria, Arake Zedeme Hedebos, Arababandaba, Aranda Nemekete, Le Baranda Baba, Allah Lamasanda, Arianda Nemeko Zede, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, let the heavens be open. Father, let the heavens be open. Father, let the heavens be open. Bring grace. Let your hands find us. Let your hands find us. Oh God. Mama Randazo, Ariane Nemekosa, Mama Nababa, Kalaba Bondaze, Rekende Nemeka, Makone Mekaza, Rabandabo, Oka Rabaparia, and Mama Nabose, Rerian Abosha, Mama Nabayana Marandabo, Rabandaze, Ali Andalama. Come on, come on, come on, this is your time. Come on, rise up. Come on, rise up. Come on, rise up. Come on, rise up. In the name of Jesus, Amaraba Boria, Antenna Mecca Benevisa, Reke Malobesi, Rabado Zanaba, Mandalaba, Hey, Hey, Andama Sana Balabai, Reke Benevisa, Ariane Lu, Sofu, Boria, Mandama. Ayanaba Yanaba Bosaya, Enaba Laba Baria Nale, Oh Karabanda Sina Bahaye. Tonight you must offer yourself. Whatever you are tonight, offer yourself. Offer yourself. Offer yourself. Offer yourself tonight. Offer yourself tonight. Offer yourself tonight. Heaven is calling. Heaven is calling. Heaven is calling. Amayanda Laba Baria. We are the Lord of the world. We are the world. Of, we are the Lord of the world. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come on, receive the call. Go out there, rescue. Come on, rescue. Come on, rescue. Come on, be God's man on the spot. Manda balaba rada badoria, abalanda la masindo. Rebe kebende bese. Father, this is the defining night. The defining night. Abamba rada bada bada basanda bayadi. Oh, we say 
say yes. We say yes, Lord. We say yes. Anda mandika baleva rode. Rabanda zanda laba. Abalanda laba shanda. Alima kora be. Alanda laba sanda. Imbolone. Reke balanda. Lori anda basa. We take our well for the Lord Jesus. We take our well for the Lord Jesus. We will take our well. We will take our well. In the name of Jesus, we will take the nations. We will take the nations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are the first. We are the new force of the church. In the Lord of Alanda, Shala la 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 la, Arianda la bazoka le le, Abayanda ba ba la la, Araba ba 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 ria le, Alanda ba 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 saka. Oh Jesus, let the power of the Lord come down. Oh, let the power of the Lord Oh, let the power of the Lord From the earth come down Let the power of the Lord come down Oh, let the power Hallelujah, la la pa, of the Lord. Yeah, la la pa, la la pa, la la pa. Hey, to God, wherever you are, you receive the power of God. You receive the strength of God. you are we are saying that Pensa International is mobilizing force to possess the nation I said that you have only one life to live and don't use it for experimentation let it count Il faut que ça compte pour quelque chose. Peu importe là où vous vous trouvez. Force, si vous voulez faire partie de cette faire partie de cette force. I want you to lift up your hands. Élevez votre main. And I will pray with you. Et je vais prier avec I will vous. commit you to the Lord God Almighty. That the Spirit of Jesus will clothe you. Afin que l'esprit de Dieu Give vous couvre. Give you the strength. Et qu'il vous donne la force à l'intérieur. Pour impacter votre monde. My soul say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes to the Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes. Say yes to the Lord. We want to thank you Seigneur, nous voulons te remercier for the many young people whose souls have said yes to you. Pour tous les jeunes à qui les âmes disent oui à toi aujourd'hui. I pray that you anoint them greatly. Seigneur, je prie que tu les oint d'une manière très grande. Open their eyes to see what you see. Seigneur, ouvre leurs yeux afin qu'ils puissent voir ce que tu vois. Open their ears to hear what you hear. Ouvre leurs oreilles pour entendre ce que tu entends. Let them be factors of transformation on this earth. Qu'ils soient des éléments de transformation sur cette terre. And because of them, 
Et à cause de snatch many from going to hell. Seigneur arrache beaucoup de, de, du feu. Use them to bring life and transformation on, on this planet. Seigneur utilise eux pour amener la vie et la transformation sur cette terre. That they will leave behind a better world. Afin qu'ils puissent laisser derrière eux un meilleur monde. In the name of God the Father the Au Son and the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Soyez remplis de l'onction du Saint-Esprit. And then arise. Et levez-vous. And possess your spheres. Et possédez votre environnement. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Welcome to Cover 20. This is VOP, led by yours truly, Suffolk QB. Join us, let's praise the name of the Lord. Everybody, come on, put your hands together. Come on. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Your name, your name, we praise your name to you, the Lord our God. On our knees, we bow to you, the Lord our God. On our knees, we bow. Feel peace, we praise your Praise your name, praise your name. Uh, to you the Lord, everybody, the Lord our God, on our knees, come on, to you the Lord, uh, the Lord our God, everybody, On my knees, ha! To you, the Lord, to you, the Lord our God, to you, the Lord our God, on my knees, to you, the Lord, the Lord our God, on my knees we bow, ha! For you in all circumstances, to you the Lord our God on my knees. <laughs> to you the Lord our God. To you the Lord. To you the Lord. <laughs> on my knees, we bow down to you. Song 
says, Great is the Lord, and He's worthy to be praised. Great is the Lord, and He's worthy to be praised. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord, great is the Lord, evermore. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord, great is the Lord forevermore. Great is the Lord. 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 Come on. Come on. Great is the Lord. He's worthy to be prayed. Great is the Lord. 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 Can we sing mighty? Mighty is the Lord. Mighty is the Lord. And he's worthy to be Mighty is the Lord. Everyone. Mighty is the Lord. Mighty is the Lord. Mighty is the sickness. Great is the Lord, great is the Lord, great is the Lord forevermore. Hallelujah. We serve my life, he Lord. Never at your feet to sin. Bind me to your will. Bind me to your will. me. Your will. Your will alone. Oh Lord. Bind me to your will. my life and keep watch over me Lord uh, ever at your feet to sit uh, bind me to your will your will alone oh Lord bind me to your will me to your will, I will, I will, and Lord, oh Lord, we say, my life, keep me at your feet.
midst of it all, say, bind me. Bind me to your will. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Say, bind me. like you in power and glory Lord who is like you majestic and slanderous who is like you in beauty and radiance my Jesus the shining one who is like you, Lord? Who is like you? Lord, in these times we need your power. We need your power. We need your light to shine upon us, Jesus. The one and only Jesus. Who is like you? In beauty and radiance. Lord, in these times we need your light to shine upon us. Shine your light, Lord. Shine your light, Lord. Shine your light, Lord. Hey, Wasada Bahata. Come on, lift your voice. Come on. Come on, lift your voice. Shine on me. you are come on lift your voice and say shine on me Jesus shine your light on me Lord my labor so shine your light on me Jesus in the midst of disease in the midst of pestilence shine your light on me no harm shall come our way shine your light 
Jesus. Be up, lift your voice and pray to God. Send your light upon the nations. Send your light upon the nations. Send your light upon Ghana. Send your light upon Gambia. Send your light upon Zambia. Send your light upon Zimbabwe. Send your light, send your light. Send your light on USA, on Europe, on Asia, on Australia. Send your light, say, say, my soul came out, send your light, Jesus. Send your light, Jesus. Send your light, Jesus. In these times, Lord, send your light. Send your light, Lord. You are closer than a brother to us, Lord. Send your light, send your light, Lord. There's a song that sings Jehovah, Captain of our host. Uh -uh. We praise your name, Jehovah, Captain of our host. We bow to you, Lord, Jehovah, Captain of our hosts we praise your name my lord jehovah captain of our hosts we praise you lord he's shown up himself he's shown up himself in our sacred cup and in the midst of it all his boss satisfaction to us Jehovah Express it for me. Come on. Come on. We 
bow before him because he's got all the world in the same. song so much it says that Jehovah captain of our host now listen in these times the world looks so frail so faithless and people are looking for a hiding place where can we hide but from them we cannot hide from anywhere nothing can be our refuge except Jehovah the captain of our host under his shadows we will hide he is our captain of our host listen if you don't know this jesus and if you're looking for any place to hide yourself hide yourself under the shadow of the almighty oh, shut up. jehovah captain of our host we praise your name, Jehovah, captain of our hosts. We bow to you, for you hold the world in your hands, Lord. Jehovah, captain of our hosts. We praise your name, Jehovah. Captain of our hosts, we bow to you. You are the one I need. Cause me to know. Bring me. To my need, you are my desire, cause me to see, hold me in your arms. Bring me to your brook and feed to do your way. You are the one. You are the one I need. Cost me, Jesus. Bring me to my knees. You are my desire. 
my soul on fire in these times as for the touch of the Lord you do your way hallelujah we put together this song called covered in the blood <laughs> and we try it in these times we cover ourselves in the blood and we are safe and secure in the blood of Jesus we find healing in the blood. <laughs> we find healing in the blood. We find healing in the blood. We find healing in the blood of Jesus. Come on, everybody, 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 everybody. Covered in the blood. <laughs> Covered in the blood. In the blood in Jesus' name, covered in the blood, covered in the blood, covered in the blood in Jesus' name. VOP, can you join me? Say, covered, covered in the blood. Covered in the blood in Jesus' name. I'm covered in the blood, say, covered in the blood. Covered in the blood. I'm covered, covered in the blood in Jesus' name. Can we harmonize and say? Jesus Blood. Washed in the blood. 
My name is Daouda Kofi Ousibwache, and it is my absolute humble pleasure to invite and to welcome you to the North America block of COVID-20. North America comprises of the US and Canada. And this evening, you're gonna have the unique pleasure of hearing from men and women who are covered by the blood, who reside in the global center of COVID-19, but despite all of that, who are covered by the blood and are encouraged to possess nations for Christ. You're going to hear from our national youth and pensa leader in the US. You're going to see and hear the prayers of our pensa missions force. You're going to see some of our pastors and our ministry leaders join in in prayer. And so this evening, America and Canada welcomes you to COVID-20. And so without further ado, it is my unique and absolute delight to welcome our young and dynamic leader of Pensa USA in the person of Dr. Pastor Dr. Mike Potofi. Pastor, over to you. Thank you very much, Dr. Kofi, uh, PI uh, rep for uh, USA and North America. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for tuning in to the activated prayer waves of Pensa International's program, COVID-2020. I believe we've been having a blast so far in the power of the Holy Spirit as intercessory prayers continue to go up. 
In fact, recently I read something in the Washington Post that reported three months into the coronavirus epidemic or pandemic, it said the country is on the verge of another health crisis with daily doses of death, isolation, fear, generating widespread psychological trauma. In fact, federal agencies here are almost warning that there is a historic wave of mental health problems that is approaching due to depression, substance abuse, post-traumatic stress disorder, and suicide. But we are gathered here this very moment to oh, lift our yes. prayer, to counter whatever <laughs> predictions <laughs> there are. Our God is almighty. There is no one like our God. He reigns over the nation. His power is supreme. And our prayer target for this moment is the removal of fear, restoration of our nations, and revival across the globe. I am not doubt for so long, but God is answering our prayer. And we are in a new season as we take the world captive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Our strength, thy grace, thy Yeah, but I'm 
of fire. We declare a season of restoration. We declare a season of breakthrough. We declare International, we thank you for all the youth and pencil members, the young adults of this church. We thank you for what you are doing. We pray, oh God, we lift a prayer unto you. We know that you are God who still continue to be God. You reign yesterday, you reign today, and you continue to reign tomorrow. Jesus. The West Angels, you have spoken plainly yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. many times that all power belongs to you. Yes. Tonight, we know that all power belongs to you. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Across the globe, you yes. reign in every nation. We pray to God that Jesus. may you oh God, heal the land in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. Every COVID in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we hide under your shelter in the name. 
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 in the name of Build a formidable church. You shall yes, build an army. You shall build a vibrant church. And yes, the gates of to hell tonight will lead a prayer of God Jesus. against every gate of hell in the night. And the gates of hell. May we hear a revival? Yes, yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, May your blessing be upon your people. Yes, May Lord. your grace continue to be upon Jesus. your people. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We just want to spend some moments worshiping our King, the great I Am. The creator of all things. The one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. His kingdom is established. And this kingdom will never end. Wherever you are, lift your voice and worship. Just give God all the worship He deserves. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your voice and worship. Heal our desire. We bless you, O God. Hallelujah. You are the King.
exalted, O oh Lord, upon the earth. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord, upon the earth. Let your glory be upon all the earth. Let your glory be upon Somebody lift a voice. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord. Say, be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Oh oh Let your glory, the glory be upon all the earth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lift it. Lift it. Come on, everybody. Everybody, be proud. Yes, Lord. Somebody lift the voice of worship. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Let your glory be upon all the earth. Let it fall on the earth. Yes, Lord.
Lord, to lift your voice. You have chosen to call me your. Lift it up one more time. You've got time, say. You've got time, and seasons in your hand. You called for light, say. You called for light. Out of darkness, you don't need. You've got times, you've got times and seasons in your hands. You call for light, where there's no light. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor, we praise this very day. In the name of Jesus, your goodness, for your mercy, for your faithfulness, for your kindness, oh God. Our last and final version of the book of the Lake the Mamma, 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 the
Amen. So one of the first prayer points we're going to pray. Um, we want to pray and commit every single essential worker into the hands of God. Um, we have a lot of workers um, in the pension ministry that are part of the medical field. And day in and day out, they go into these grounds to assist people on a physical need um, um, and to help them to be able to get better. But if we don't pray for them, if we don't cover them in the blood of Jesus, it'll be very hard for them not to come out whole and alive. So right now, we just want to lift up every single essential worker into the hands of God that God, please cover cover your children, cover our youth, cover, cover our mothers, our fathers, our aunties and uncles who are going into these fields. Cover them in the name of Jesus right now. So we lift up that prayer. God, in the name of Jesus, God. We want to lift up every essential worker, O oh Lord, into your hands. Father, we are asking, Lord, that you would be a refuge and a fortress around them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are asking that, Lord, you would cover them, truly cover them, and mark them with your blood. That, Lord, you would protect them, O oh God, from every arrow that flies by day, Lord, and from every pestilence, O oh God, by night. In the name of Jesus, that, Lord, even as they go into their fields, Lord, may you be your protection. May you be their shield. May you be their covering. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cover, oh God, cover, oh God, every person that is an essential worker with blood in the name of Jesus. Shield and protect them, oh God, preserve their lives in the name of Jesus. In their lives, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may you truly cover, may you truly cover, may you truly cover, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. They can do what they can do. Rakadamada, Lima Mama Mate, Rakadamada, Lima Mama Mashiki, the Riki Day, Lima Mama Mate, Rakadamada, they go Mama Mashiki, the Riki Day, Lima Mate, Rakada, Lima Mama Mashiki, the Riki Day, they go Mama Mama Kate, Rakadamada, Lima Mama Mashiki, the Riki Day. Carry on the road to the 
God will help us to be bold. God will help us to have the hope that he has already placed in us. When the disciples were crossing the Red Sea, the ocean was going to capsize them. They thought that all was lost, but they forgot that Jesus is the one that told them to cross the sea, and he was in the boat with them. So he was with them every step of the way. So right now, we want to pray a prayer of assurance that, God, thank you that you are with us. Thank you that this thing will not touch us. Thank you that we are not counted among the dead, but we are counted among the living. So wherever you are around the world, just lift up a prayer of thanksgiving unto God. Thank you, Jesus, that you are in our boat. Thank you, Jesus, that you are riding the waves with us. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. Ability to be um, participants of civilian affairs. So right now we're going to pray in the mighty name of Jesus that as we are um, young people, as we are gathered together under God's feet, that everything that he has taught for us to do in pencil ministry, everything that he has taught for us to do as children of God will be established and that every plan that he has for Pensa International will be established in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. And look, your purposes are yes and are amen. Lord, we want to thank you, O oh God, that Lord, forever your counsel stands. Lord Jesus, we commit, O oh God, Pensa International into your hands once again. Lord, we are asking that you would continue to sustain, you would continue to hold. And we are praying in the name of Jesus that every plan and purpose that you have concerning our lives, O oh God, as young people, be established in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we come against, oh God, every force of darkness, oh God, that would seek to thwart, oh God, every destiny, Lord, every plan, oh God, for our lives, oh God, as young people, we pray in the name of Jesus that you preserve and protect us from the hands and the eyes of the evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we pray all your purposes and plans for our lives to be established in your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, they come my take it. Jesus, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, God, that we are covered by your blood. Thank you, Jesus, that we are the generation that will stand up and stand tall. Thank you, God, that we are not afraid and we will not back down. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that every single one of our aunties, uncles, brothers, and sisters are covered by you. We give you glory for your goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus, we worship you. So bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, 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 my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship his holy name, I worship your holy name, Jesus.
places I worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Today bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Oh, but I want to worship your holy name, oh my God. Jesus, we worship your holy Even in spite of all we're going through, Lord, we want to worship your holy name. Father, we just worship your holy name. Oh, we worship your holy, holy name. I and I see several and two troops sorry, we worship your holy name, Lord. Daddy, we worship your holy name. Yes, Jesus. Father, we worship your holy Doesn't matter what people say. We want to worship. We want to worship. We want to worship your holy name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We worship your holy name. Daddy, we Somebody lift your voice, yeah. Worship God's holy. Yeah, I We worship your holy. Something about the name of Jesus. We worship your holy name. We worship your holy name. Hallelujah, you have won this victory. Oh, when I see what is going on, hallelujah, yeah. you have won it all for me. I want to sing it one more time, hallelujah, you have won. The victory, Hallelujah! You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Hey, Jesus, you are the reason. See that in my. You are the reason, King. Death could not hold you down, no, no, no. You are the reason, King. Oh, 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 oh. See that in man, Majesty. Daddy, you are, Daddy, you are, Daddy, you are the reason. Somebody help me say, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Jesus, you have won. You have won it all for me. Because death could not hold you. Oh, 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 oh,
And so we have prayed and we have worshipped for over 14 hours. I strongly believe that you've been blessed by today's sessions. More importantly, I wish to assure you that if you have prayed with us in faith today, then you have every reason to believe that you are truly covered. Before we go, though, we wish to give you one last chance to respond to that most important of all questions. You've heard it three times throughout the day today. But I want to ask you one last time. Who is Jesus to you? To some, he was a good man, a moral philosopher worthy of emulation. To others, he was one of many ancient prophetic voices. To others, still, to be honest with you, he was an abomination and a fraud. Some people cannot even bring themselves to the possibility that he existed in the first place. I'm sure you know people like this. This evening, before we go, I want to ask you, think about this clearly and answer it with honesty. I think that might go. Jesus, to you. I want to introduce you to our Jesus, the Jesus of Pensa International. The anointed one, the Messiah, the son of the living God, the great redeemer who wipes away all our sins and he restores mankind back to his creator and the creator of the universe. You see, global pandemics from the beginning of time, including COVID-19, represent the physical manifestation of the fact that we live in a broken world. My scriptures tell me that we were born in sin and everything we see in creation has been subjected to the futility of the consequences of this sinful nature. And therefore, we must all end in physical death. 
in the final analysis, my brothers and sisters, that is what COVID-19 ultimately is. It is a reminder that our world has an owner and that everything in creation that does not meet his perfect standard of righteousness is subject to destruction. Folks, our morality cannot save us. Our goodness cannot save us. Our acts of kindness to the poor cannot save us. The only way to be truly covered, not just from COVID-19, but from the fate that awaits all of creation after the is to Jesus Christ. Bible says, and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want to assure you that God can save the worst of sinners. It makes no difference what you have done. His amazing grace can reach you. God loves us even though we have rebelled against him. There's a beautiful scripture that says that God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for you and me. God made it possible through the gift of his son for you and for me to be saved. This is God's provision and is the ultimate gift of God. It is by far the greatest gift you will ever get in life. I wish to extend that invitation to you. He is as close as a prayer. And I want you to pray this prayer with me right now. If the past 14 hours has not been just entertainment for you, the past 14 hours, the Lord has used it to capture and to pull on your heartstrings that there's a creator of the universe who seeks to snatch you from, the, from hellfire, then please bow, your, bow down your head as we pray. Please pray with me. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Come into my heart today and be the Lord of my life. I will serve you. I will obey you. I will read your word and I will follow Christ from this day onward. All the days of my life. Jesus, you are now my Lord and my Savior. And I am yours. Amen. With that simple prayer, you have answered the greatest question in life. And you have stepped from darkness into light. You have now identified with the family of the Lord Jesus Christ and your spiritual brothers and sisters, Pensa International members all over the globe are rejoicing with the angels in heaven because of your salvation. We want to connect with you. So please stay tuned for instructions on how to submit your information to us. God bless you and congratulations on your new life in Christ Jesus. Amen. The word of God says that heaven rejoices when one repents. So we join heaven in rejoicing for each and every one of you. Since you have answered the call to give your life to Christ, we humbly ask that you go to pensainternational.org forward slash response and fill out a very brief survey. We would love to get in touch with you, pray with you, encourage you, and give you all the resources necessary to help you on your new journey with the Lord. The website once again is pensainternational.org forward slash response. We encourage you all to fill out the form. May God richly bless you. International has the great task of mobilizing a global force for the sake of the gospel. For that reason, we are consistently developing teams for missionary trips, including medical and other professional service missions across the world. The Lord has blessed the Church of Pentecost with men and women who are spirit-filled and excellent in various fields. Join us. Let's possess the world for Christ. 
We have established networks of service across fields of medicine, engineering, business, and many more. We invite you to visit our volunteer link at pensainternational.org forward slash let's go to learn about how your skills can be used to advance the good news. If you have been blessed by what you've seen today, we would humbly ask for you to partner with us by going to pensainternational.org forward slash give to make a financial contribution to this ministry. The International Ministry of Pentecost Students and Associates, Pensa International, exists to complement the Church of Pentecost's global evangelic vision. By into the world we go. This is to fulfill prophecy. I want to read this scripture to you here of the Jewish leaders. Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and said, The disciples were overjoyed when they said, Again, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Spirit. Credit says that if you forgive anyone's sin, they are saying, and if you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. I believe that today, through this wonderful program of Penta International, the Lord has breathed upon every member of the church, and even people who listen to us from outside. And we have been energized, given the strength and the power to possess the nations for Christ. Today, Fulfilling the prophecy of the church, which the chairman said many years ago, that we should leave our comfort zones and reach out. And COVID 19 has put all of us in a room. This time is not the fear of the Jews, but the fear of the virus. And look at the church reaching out to millions of people in the world. I pray that the young folks who have been who have received the power of God will not rest on the earth, but they will reach out to their own reach and bring all people to the knowledge of the power of God. We are possessing the nation, Pensa International. Now we have of the executive council, the chairman, and then the leaders of the North uh, America, those in Canada, and our dear brothers in the U.S., we want to say thank you, God Almighty, for everything you have done for us today. Indeed, you have fulfilled the prophecy. We have possessed the nations. And then I also want to thank the leadership of the Pensa International. You have given us hope. Now we are not afraid of tomorrow because we know that with you in charge, the church of God will try until the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 